We welcome Patrice O'Neill in studio. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Yes. Talking a little bit about uh, the NBA Finals. I know it's uh, quickly becoming the past, but this LeBron James thing has a lot of people talking. Well, I mean, I don't think he point shaved. I think he, <laughs> I just think. Point shaves. Like I said, I think, uh, you know, I use a, a Justice League analogy, <laughs> which is if you're in if you're in the Super Friends and a meteor is getting ready to hit the Earth, mm -hmm. who, everybody in the Justice League turns and looks at who? Fucking Superman. <laughs> but then Superman goes, what, 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 what do I do? Well, hey, guys, I don't know what to... Superman, you're, like, uh -oh. you're the one who can fly. You're the one who can... Who can breathe in space? You're the one who can <laughs> fly damage. and destroy that thing. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, I just, I just want to be a good teammate and <laughs> and help, help do my part. No, there's no part to do. I'm Aquaman. I I only swim. I'm in the water here. By the time it gets to me, it's too late. I might be able to get 20,000 dolphins to jump as high as they can and try to hit the fucking thing. <laughs> hit the fucking thing. But uh, shit. why are you putting this pressure on me? I'm only Superman. <laughs> but who put the pressure on him? It, we did. Not him? No. Look, man, people say that he called. He, I don't, he just accepts King James. I think he loves being him, but he doesn't want to be him. He wants to stand on the outside of himself and just watch mm. himself without dealing with the pressure of being him. It's, it's he's a, he's too physically he's the greatest player to ever live. There's no other player better than him physically. Six foot eight slash nine can handle, can jump, can body as big as a horse and uh, strong as a horse. But he just doesn't want he, it's, he's not mean. He's not mean enough. The Jordan used to do things to really demoralize people. Demoralize people. Mm. Laugh at him. Close his eyes when he shoots free throws. Uh, uh, fake you out with one hand like a fake pass. Larry Bird used to do that kind of shit. Magic, they, Isaiah, they all were mean. They were <laughs> mean. He's a nice guy, and he, he wanted his rings, but he doesn't understand, you know. One ring in Cleveland would have been 20 somewhere else. Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, you, you, you see the heroic, uh, godlike uh, treatment that uh, Dirk is getting. And, and not because he's a white guy. I mean, I, I rooted for him because he's a, he was a soldier. Stayed in Dallas, shitty Dallas, <laughs> seven-foot bum who only <laughs> shoots free throw. I mean, shoots outside three jump pointers. shots, three-pointers, <laughs> right. who still does that. Yeah. So if he, he's been able to do it consistently. This motherfucker's not a force of nature. He's a, <laughs> he's still the same Dirk he always was. And it calls him a caveman. He, he, look like, he looks like he, a big he looks caveman. Like a caveman. Yeah, caveman he's a, face. You know, Dirk, just, just a normal, you know, that, that fucking, I'm super humble guy who is starting to make me sick. This, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Derrick Rose is that. I don't even think my mother. It's like, sh suck a dick. You know, I love my mom too, nigga. I love my mom too. Everybody loves their mom. That you're this humble thing. So what do you think about winning the game? I'm just happy that you know I'm, I love my teammates and I love my mom. Like Dirk is, you know, he he was in he was in I don't want to enjoy it mode. Yeah. So much that when he won, he didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and for a little while, shake and, it off. And when they was teasing him about him coughing and shit, and he's like, "They're just childish." It's like, wh what, what happened? It, this is my question for for. Uh, 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 <laughs> this is my question for life. Mm. What, what, now, can we say are we retiring the phrase "sticks and stones"? <laughs> break my bones and names will never hurt. Is that now it seems, officially? Uh, it seems like we are. I think can you're right. No one, it can seems no like one we are. be. Can is it is it legal for me to say I endorse hate speech? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I, I want I, hate speech. Yes. Like why can't I hate you in speech? Exactly. Why? I don't understand. I don't either. Not how in this much, country. How avarice can any? Can, look at. You know how much money it would take me to go, fuck you, motherfucker, <laughs> to everybody? Five million? Yeah. Thank Five million is enough to tell, I'll t suck my, my dick. Done.
So obviously you're getting into the Tracy Morgan thing. I'm getting into everything. It's all connecting. It's, That's yeah, what I was yeah, trying yeah. to say. It's, it's all it's around all us. It's all connected. But the Tracy Morgan thing is the big one today. Well, see, my thing with Tracy is this. Um, I, I, look, I, you know, I don't fall for no banana and no tailpipe. I don't listen <laughs> to no, anybody that says it. I believe the opposite. I try to make the opposite opinion right away. Yep. Tracy's been that a long time. Tracy's been frivolous with his performances a long time. He say some ill shit. <laughs> Not just fucking gay and shit. But here's what he's doing now. It's simple as this, man. Mm -hmm. the, the game we're in is like jail. You gotta you gotta be there's no rogue, lonely uh, gunslinger guy in Hollywood. There's no I do it myself and nobody fucks with me. Do it my way. My way. Help. It ain't none of that. You got to yeah. be affiliated. Like, if you go to prison, hmm. you can't go in there and go, hey, I'm just going to read gun my gun books and, you know, I'm just going to chill out. You got to join something. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't join something, the guy's going to find out. So who you who you affiliate with? Well, I'm just chilling out. I'm just hanging. Uh, I'm my well, own person. I'm going to rape you. Because <laughs> you, <have, laughs> you, no, you have no affiliations, my friend. Right. You, you're not down with a cartel. So... What Tracy, I mean, this is conjecture, but Tracy's just paying what he owe. You, it's like um, the Godfather. The guy goes, Godfather. And he goes, well, you never even fucking say hi to me. Yeah. But you know what? Here's my deal. I'll do what you want. And when I need you, I'm gonna, just going to come yeah. get what I need. And he goes, you hear this? Knock on the door. And it's like, you got to pay me back. Yeah. Tracy owes a lot of people his career. Because why do you think he could say, now trust me, people that know Tracy, he says some ill shit yeah. that he could get in trouble like he is for every day. <laughs> yeah. This time around, he says something and they said, oh, here's a, here's a good time. Tracy? Yeah, what? What's up? Yeah, you know, you're in, you're in deep shit. We're going to make you apologize, but you, you owe. And the fear that guy, that when you owe, is that they're going to take everything from you. Mm -hmm. So if... If they didn't make you, they can't really break you. And you see, I say they. It's, it's the cartels, man. You, you do not, look at, gay people I, I know have exactly a powerful cartel. I affiliate myself with Jews, low level to mid level Jews. Cause they, they deal in money. They, you, you pay them dough. You, 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 here's your 10. Can I have a little, can I do my thing over here? Yeah. Pay you this. I'm not, I'm not big enough to get in big trouble, from, you know. <laughs> so is it possible that I can just do this? Here's your dough. Mm -hmm. And the thing I like about Jews, dealing with them as a cartel, is they don't want you to be Jewish. They, you don't have to join. You don't have to give anything but what you owe. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fucking, <laughs> you know, you don't have to fucking go to the parties. <laughs> you don't have to put on the yarmulke. You don't have to do it. No. Mm -hmm. So it's a very fair thing. A lot of these cartels, man, you got to be that. Got to be in with so, them. And, you got and to believe, be that. And believe they, everything they believe in. You got, yes. Don't speak ill of them. Yep. Yep. And And the thing is. You know, Tr Tracy has to pay with the owe. And I knew that when mm -hmm. Tina Fey turned on him. Tina Fey uh, has been his great benefactor right, for many years. Sure. So this one thing has turned the tides of Tracy's career, meaning it's it's made him public enemy number one. When I heard this story pass one day, I said, Tracy's the new spokesman for gay shit now. <laughs> well, we, and that's exactly We said yesterday, happened. Patrice, that they grab you as a hostage. You now, don't have he, to be a hostage. But he's a hostage to Glad right now, and yeah. Glad will let Tracy know when they're done with him. They're, they're not ever going to be done with him because it, it, it's p power is it, corruptible, man. Like when a bully takes your money, he don't go, thank you, I just needed it today. He keeps going. It, it, Tracy, right. so Tracy now, so had, I don't know how much money he got in the bank, oh, but I would think it's enough to say no. Leave Say, me alone. Fuck you. And he, but he sets himself up um, where Tracy doesn't have. Like, if I'm saying this, I'll I'll hear from Tracy. Meaning, yo, don't talk shit about. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Like, don't. <laughs> I'm I'm on your side. I know what you're going through. But I I made a decision. That's why people go, well, why Patrice isn't? I don't want to owe that much. Mm -hmm. I don't. Because <laughs> there's people that count on me to have. A, 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 like a revolutionary attitude sometimes just where I argue
Yeah. So I let a lot of people down if I put myself in a position to have to f flop around on my belly. Have to be a spokesperson See, like that, or right. That's why I talk so much because. I want people to understand what I'm saying. Now, if I talk about gays and talk about anything I have a problem with, I'm going to make sure if they're going to end my career, you know that it's it's a it's a muscle move that is unfair. That is not just because Tracy just goes faggots, 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 and more faggots. And if my son was a faggot, and then he and then you go, Tracy, what the fuck? He didn't say nothing to apologize for. Mm -hmm. He, what are you apologizing for? Yeah, yeah. you were doing your act, but he's on been, comedy stage. But the people who make you owe, they go where this guy is setting himself up to owe us big, because <laughs> we're allowing him to feel himself. I'm going to pull my, stu my stomach out. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to be drunk. I'm going to fucking get DUIs. I'm going to fall downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to get a kidney from a bitch and leave her. I'm going to do all kind of shit. Holy shit. I'm going to do all yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. And then I'm, I feel like I'm invincible. Then I do something that I do all the time. Faggots. Faggots. And now, oh, his benefactor. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> we're, we're, we're disgusted with him <laughs> and now they pick him up by the fucking hem of his neck and the back of his drawers and toss him out uh, into every gay thing <laughs> tracy's from the hood yeah yeah he doesn't want to be dealing with tracy's all from the hood you understand yeah you, you're gonna get to, you're now the new from a guy who just goes faggots to the understanding, delicious spokesman for gayness. <laughs> you got to watch these motherfuckers. Watch TV and see the trends. There's a commercial I hate so much. I am a, a student of commercials, by I, the way. I hate this commercial so much. I don't know how to approach how much I hate it. Mm. Because gay also means happy. Sure does. Now, we can play that game, <clears throat> but gay does mean happy. Uh, homosexuals have commandeered the word gay yeah. into where it's not happy anymore. Because there's a commercial because the the boss of the Phoenix Suns came out the closet. The mm. boss of the Phoenix Suns is gay. And they do a commercial where they're playing basketball and the guy's like, hey, man, you suck. Yep. Hey, man, you ain't nothing. Hey, man, you ain't got no jump shot. And then one guy goes, yeah, your moves are gay. Whoa. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. <laughs> and then he has some of the Phoenix Suns are the spokesman. Like, hey, man, that's not cool to say nah. that. Gay is... What? They don't believe that. We Motherfucker, so now... Right. No. Fucking moms. Like, look, here's what, here's what we all let happen. We all, we all let context be destroyed. Yeah. Context is gone. And that was... I can't gone. slip up. I can't say nothing you can't understand what you don't feel me you don't feel what i'm saying look what he did i i can't go oh i can defend that but i will say this here's what here's what what happens with with tracy here's what can happen and, you know I'm, i believe in conspiracies man mm -hmm. it just sets people up who want to control everyone right where you go okay tracy you go a guy like tracy he isn't qualified to have an opinion. This having an opinion it should be in the hands of people who are qualified intellectually. <laughs> so guys like him, if he's not if he don't have a, a degree, if you don't they they'll yeah. start making language elite where you can't you can't have an opinion. But I say Tracy can be as ignorant, as fucked up as he wants to be yeah, because I want to be able to communicate. And if I'm fucked up, let me be fucked up. But I support anything as long as you're not hitting me and robbing me right hate speech why can't i hate you <clears throat> yeah. why the fuck but see the dilemma in my head is this you back in the 1910s <laughs> eight-year-old kids worked in the coal mine or whatever <laughs> yeah and god people back then thought that it that it uh built character yeah, yeah but then we go up to our age where our parents hit us and now we go, oh, that, that built character when you hit it. So I'm saying, the point I'm making is maybe I'm antiquated. Maybe I'm thinking, oh, because I don't think kids should work in coal mines. Yeah. But I do think kids could, should get hit. 
But now you can't even tease kids in school. It's, it's no. bully, bullying and bullying. Very important. So yeah. maybe it's right. Maybe the way the world's going is right. Maybe no, no bullying. No, because my, 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 my step kid was getting bullied in school. My instinct was. Yeah, hey, you know, tell her to ball a fucking fist up and knock this <laughs> yeah, other bitch in her fucking teeth. That's what that's what we heard. <laughs> My, her mother goes to the school, tells the principal, no more bullying, no more bullying, because yeah. bullying is gone now. But is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know what's going on. So maybe, maybe being against it is the wrong thing. Maybe being anti the world becoming. I saw. I'm in BJ's. I saw a box. A, a kitchen toy kitchen a boy was on the front <laughs> I, wanted to, I, I wanted to scream at somebody there's a little sissy on the box on the toe on the fucking easy bake oven box yeah, there's a boy you know what? I think we're becoming our parents. What the fuck? You you're can't right. You can't wrap your head around Come something on. like that. He's you can't wrap your head right. You can't wrap your head around so that. So you can't even be angry. You can't quit. Look, but someone has decided that's okay now in this society that's, to put the boy on damn. that box. Them. Like we answer into a them yeah, that's I, not even, we don't even know. And we're not part of them. And that's, no, that's, it's, that's the our them, problem. We are part of the them. The them is the collective. Sure. But, who's, who's Tracy, who's LeBron apologized to? Hey, when they wake up, man, they're going to be them. They're yeah, going to just be them. Bubba. When, when they, when, look, I, when they wake up in the morning, you know. So, LeBron, when you said that, were you saying that you're better than people? Oh, man. He should, he should look up in the sky for a second and go, yeah, 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 yeah. Because let's be honest, honest than that's them. I am. Yes, I my am life compared to them. Yes, I'm, I'm better, better than, than them. them. Yeah, I'm 25 and worth zillions of dollars <laughs> for doing something that people are right now in the snow. Right now, they moved out. They shovel pavement, and they they built a a hole in the wall, and they're practicing shooting just to be what I actually am. So, yeah. how about this? If I'm not liked, how about everybody suck my dick? <laughs> I got a good account. You can't get my dough. I got some gold buried somewhere. Y'all can suck my dick. You can talk about my mama, too. I don't give a fuck. I'm six foot eight. My God dick is damn. as long as a goddamn robot. <laughs> I probably get my I probably get my dick sucked in front of my wife. There's nothing she can do because she's a fucking loser. But he backed off from his statement. Yeah, he should have went all of course he, he did. did. No, I know. I understand. Of course I, I, he backed up from his statement. I like this a lot. I like it a lot because it's easy just to say that Tracy should be able to say whatever he wants on a comedy stage, but you you really fucking painted the big picture here today, Dude, sir. Dude, it's... it's it, we this, all think that, obviously. This business is the beast, yeah. and it eats everybody and shits them out. But here's what's funny about the beast. It's a never-ending line of people who want to get in the mouth and get chewed up and shit out. Why is that? It's because you, when you get in the belly, yeah. you get $2 million a week. <laughs> and when you get shit out, you, you're a pile back there. And you have, the, you have the option to go get back in line and wait to go get back in the beast and get eaten and that shit out. Fucker is and we line hilarious. up. You are fucking hilarious I and wanna, profound. I want to find where it's just... A couple of dollars. Just give me. I want a. I just want a couple of mil. And you know, I, yeah. look, what part of the beast do you want to be in? Kind of in the esophagus. I'm not even. Let me you tell don't you, you don't want to be in the belly, right? Let me tell you something. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even get out. to the beast yet because I'm okay. 20 years. Yeah. The be see when the beast pick you up to put you in your mouth, you you shining. You people see you. Sometimes <laughs> see what 15 minutes of fame is. The beast goes. Ooh, throws throws somebody down, and and gets that's they that was reality people. Yeah, yeah. And but th and this but one people was, saw him in front of the mouth. This one was a, a, a athlete that had one good year, <laughs> yeah. and they threw him. A, now you see, ooh, that looks like a delicious young thing there. <laughs> Eat, chew. But that's why I love Charlie Sheen so much. He was in the belly. When you make it two million a week, doing anything, you're in the absolute belly. And for that fucker. To betray his position in the belly, to 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 actually give the beast indigestion <laughs> was was spectacular. I, he was a martyr, but and, and Mel Gibson too. Mel Gibson. Yeah, Mel Gibson. He um, he he, he could have been the beast. He was so big. Yeah. And they turned on him. 
You know what I'm saying? So you anybody that gets that deep and turns on the beast, man, you 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 gotta root for him, no matter what, because because they're martyrs, because no one's gonna stand up for him. And then Hollywood, they tell you who to hate. Like when they rose up against him, not be on Hangover Two, when 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 uh, Mike, the, the movie was about trannies. Fucking getting fucking people in the ass, <laughs> drugs, <laughs> death, and Mike Tyson who got a rape conviction, and you motherfuckers said, decide to gang up on Mel Gibson. Say you can't be in this. He can't play a tattoo artist in the Hangover too. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Come on, man. That's not. It's not hypocrisy, because that means that's that's a human thing. It's it's something else. It's a cartel. It's somebody owing somebody the favor. I was close. I was I was hooked in with the Spike Lee cartel. Mm -hmm. He had his own baby cartel that he's connected, but you can be he's big enough for you to be connected to him, <laughs> but he's connected to somebody else. And and he asked me for a favor, and I said I can't. Mm. Gone off with the head. What was the favor? You don't talk Jesus. about it. No, no, he um he was and look, he put the most money in my pocket I ever seen in my life up to that point. He put me in a couple of movies, mm -hmm. voiceovers. He had he had access to a lot of things and threw me just threw me in. That movie I did, um, the twenty fifth hour. Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't audition for that. He said, "Hey man, you a Celtics fan, ain't you?" I said, yeah, "Man, I'm from Boston." He goes, "All right, you got it. You got the dig." Like he saw my comedy, <laughs> liked me, sat me down. Yeah, he said, "You're in." He just, "You're in." Put me in this movie. Was really nice to me. Uh, put me in voiceover commercials and all type of shit. I was seeing money I never seen before. <laughs> and he asked me. It was uh, it was some some gig with uh, like Showtime. Something happened with Showtime, but they did me real dirty. But he was doing this show this movie with Showtime, and I said, man, I said I can do the part. I, I don't want to come read. But I did it through my agents. I did the right thing. Uh -huh. He just bypassed my agents, everybody else. He called me personally and said, come come do this. And I go, well, I, how can I, what am I do? Just say fuck my agents and fuck people that I, I have a business with. If I do that, that destroys my entire system. I yeah. feel like I should have a system like you have a system. I, I can't. He said, I, right. that was it. Wow. Damn. That was it. And that's how it is. Now, I only lost what I lost. I didn't lose fame, glory, and everything. I only lost some some money. Yeah. But, you know, they got motherfuckers. You lose everything. But, see, it's everything that you want. You want shine. You want to. <laughs> you. I, I sat twice up on the front row at MSG. My girl went with me. me uh, twi I think it's twice or once. It's so intoxicating when you're. <laughs> In the front row, you're looking around at who else you is have there, to right? Move your feet because you might trip the player. <laughs> <laughs> when they threaten to take that away, you get scared. Mm. Tracy got front row seats at MSG, man. Wherever he goes, people are screaming. Wherever he go, he gets right in. And somehow, you know, if you fall from where he is, you fall way down. <laughs> yeah. Do we yeah. do we talk about Dane Cook anymore? <laughs> Dane could still sell out uh, any theater, any 5,000-seat theater. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it ain't Dane Cook Day no more, you, it seems like he's done, doesn't it? It seems like he's done. He's not done. No. But it's just not his day because he had a favor he didn't pay back. You think that's it? or Dude, or just people Will Smith kinda... has been famous <laughs> forever. For 15 <laughs> years. Probably longer. 15 uh, years. Fresh yeah. Prince is pushing 20 years ago. He he does what he's supposed to do. And I'm not saying he, whatever. I'm just saying mm -hmm. you don't, you just don't do seven pounds. Can I, can, I'll, <laughs> Patrice, stay on top. Let me play the other side of that because I'm sure a couple Holy people would say this. Shit. Uh, when the, a few people would say it's because he's that talented. Nobody's that fucking talented. Let that's, me tell you something. That's what I thought you were saying. And honestly, I, believe, Let me tell you I, I agree with you. No. No no one person is that talented. know me, and I'm not being a fucking asshole when I'm saying this. There's no way I shouldn't be bigger than I am. There's just no way that... We all say it. Joe Coy is selling out shit, and I'm not. Right. And I like Joe. I like Joe. But Joe is... Joe ain't me. Mm -hmm. Joe ain't Nick DiPaolo. Joe ain't... Everybody that did tough crowd, right? Gangsters, we should be out in the in the, in the public eye. But you know why? Mm. 
<laughs> Nick says goo gobbler, man. Yeah. Nick will say goo gobbler in a minute. Even when Nick's trying to be good, he, he can't, can't help himself. Because he's, he's gangster, man. Yeah, yeah. I try. I swear to God I try. But you just go, what? Like, I, I, the first thing I think is, please, God, let Tina Fey and Wanda Sykes chastise me over some <laughs> shit I said. And I got to apologize to who, motherfucker? I'll die first, nigga. Yeah. Like, for real. I don't motherfuckers think I be bullshitting, man. I like I I, I, I I try, but I'm like, I don't want to put myself in a spot to where I'm balanced. Like I'm telling you, I, I sit I sit in my house every day and I and I I, I appreciate my ceiling fan, man. Because one day somebody gonna try to take it, and I gotta look at it and know that someday somebody gonna try to take my ceiling fan. And I and I all I got to do is, you know, uh, you know, as hopefully I have a good woman and, it's, and she is. But I'm saying hopefully we have a good woman mm -hmm. that when when the shit hits the fan, she's going to be there. Or you're going to have people that's going to be there that if somebody one day says, we're going to take this big mouth anthem. We're fed up with him. Yeah. We're fed up with you. We're going to take your shit. And you're sitting there going, wait, I own my house. No, you don't. We own it. We own everything. Mm -hmm. And that you have a place to go that. You know, you 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 where you could park your Shelby. Yeah. You, you feel me? Yeah. So, look, I've been t I've tasted little parts of what success is. I've tasted it. It's 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 good. It's, it's deliciously. <laughs> you you get drunk <laughs> off of it. Uh huh. But, you know, Tracy, I don't know how much money he got, but he he should he should. Uh, he should be happy with the money yeah. he's got. What I'm he, he should. What I'm getting from you though is it's not a fear that's too easy to say of 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 success you don't want to put yourself in a position where you can fall hard and hurt yourself and you and owe. but you owe and the godfather all the, luckily what he owed was fix my son up he got yeah, shot yeah. and you go Ooh. but when you hear the knock on your door and he goes i need you to do me a favor <laughs> you're going to you're going to be at the a dinner with the president, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Or I'm, you're going to be at a dinner with somebody I want dead. Right. I want you to put this pill in his drink. Oof. Uh, I, 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 I don't. Uh, well, see. Well, that. what you owe is we're going to kill your whole family. I told you. <laughs> oh, shit. I want my favor. So you do that, and then just you'll get caught and maybe go to jail. But your wife and kids, we won't blow the whole house up. But you owe us. And that's why you're in, you're in my debt. When you get to a certain, see, I, I deal with low to middle level Jews in my career. Mm -hmm. Okay. We talk, we talk shit. But if I up, get upgraded to the next level, okay, say I, I get a show on TV, say it's not, it's not too popular, mm -hmm. but they keep, they keep it on for me until it gets popular. A favor? I owe. I fucking owe something. All right, Patrice, we need you to do a big favor. And I'm and I'm intoxicated. I'm I'm in the front row. Everybody's like, Patrice, what's happening, baby? All the girls and shit. Oh, I love fat men. Yeah, I know you do, bitch. Hey, listen, I got dough for everybody. I'm making it rain. I'm fuck I got a fifty thousand dollar brick. I'm throwing money in the air. I'm getting my dick sucked. I'm driving in a four million dollar three do six door car. I'm driving a six door Porsche. Faggots. Excuse me, I didn't mean it. Like, get fucked in the ass, people, for <laughs> pussy motherfuckers. You know, I'm the shit. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then, and then, Patrice O'Neill, the shit, can't get a fucking job. Let me tell you something. When it, when it rains, it pours. Punk comedians are tweeting vicious shit against Ooh. Tracy. Punk motherfuckers yeah. that... Yeah. Have no, would never raise their fucking mouth against Tracy. Scared of him physically, scared of who he <laughs> hangs with, scared of his fucking position. Never say no shit to Tracy. They're tweeting shitty Tracy comments. Cause yeah. they, cause the word is out. That's how far it'll take you down. Where middle act comics are, I have the to speak up against Tracy. And that's because the word is out. The word's out. Because I know great... these motherfuckers are pussies, man. Nobody got balls to stand up to Mel Gibson. Braveheart, fucking Passion of the Christ, all the fucking Lethal Weapon movies, all the fucking Mad Max movies. You think fucking Zach Galifianakis 
<laughs> on his own? Said, fuck Mel Gibson? <laughs> he got permission. You're That's right. this business. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's this business. Motherfuckers think the motherfucker. You think I'm fucking playing? And the, and those middle and those middle com, uh, comics, they just yeah, they just waited until Who the coast the was, fuck is gonna the coast stand was up clear. Exactly. Who's gonna stand up against Tracy? Those are people that hated Tracy and they think now he's a, he's done. And now I'm gonna talk shit on Twitter about Tracy Morgan. Can I say that I have to say we're I'm proud to say that we jumped right on the Tracy should be able to do what he did bandwagon. And I want to say that today. Yeah, it sounds like we're self serving, but it's like that is the thing to do. Why you don't wait for other people and get and and then finally either decide to or not to? What is, what are you feeling in your heart and go with it immediately? But it's not that easy. I know that's it's a, not. That's a human level. That's why mm -hmm. me and, and and Jimmy we yell and scream on a daily basis here because it's really fucking frustrating to be in this position. It's like why isn't it every comic coming out and going? Yeah, he should be able to do this on a comedy stage. And they got people who supported him. Yeah. Then flipped it. Yep. Who yeah. Knows? Tracy should be able to say, oh, no, wait, I read it. No. You know who? Yeah. I know. I, I want to say the name. I, well, I, I well, do you know too. What? Chris Rock. It was he Chris said, Rock. I was shocked said, by that. He said, boom, boom. He he immediately went to defending him. Then he went immediately to saying, fuck he you. He turned it around. But it's, it, this In thing, a day. It has nothing to do with all the context. Fuck the context because anything I say or you say, they can flip it around and yeah. use it against you. Well, they have. So, but, we but know that I too. should be able to say anything I fucking want. Look, I should be able to say something about gays. Look, I I said something on a podcast I did a long time ago, mm -hmm. or, or, the, or my my whatever whatever they called it, that little show I would do. And I and I I was playing the president, the the pre, the president, and I go, <clears throat> why is being gay of preference? And tying a bitch up and peeing on her a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is who I decide to fuck some type of profound fight? Mm -hmm. I just want to have that discussion. Because I'm here to say, look, it's not about love. Because I can go, man, I love you, man. I love you too, man. Brotherly. Right. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love a man. But it ain't gay until I'm fucking you. <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> I love my dog. That's but so it's not bestiality yeah. unless I'm fucking my dog. Till you start fucking. So if I fucking have a crush on you and I never tell you, I'm not gay. Right. I'm just. And, and in fact, we invented a thing called man crush that says a heterosexual man who looks at another man with some type of reverence, but he's not fucking him. Yeah. Why can't you talk about this situation? What do you want? You know what? Define to me what it is. What are you asking for? To get married? No. No. What's coming out the closet? Coming out the closet so I can let everybody know and see, here's the thing. I don't give a fuck, but I'm saying, look, let's say I like tying bitches up and peeing on them. Right. <laughs> I want to be able to show everybody. By some type of flag, <laughs> some type of gesture that I want to. I'm tired of hiding that I like peeing on bitches. I'm tired. I want everybody to know because I don't want to live this way no more. I want you to know that I like to do that. And there are other people that like to that do it too. Other people like to do it. And I want to get together with those people and share our experiences. And I want to fight for our right to pee right. on each other. And I want to fight to get married to a person under the guise that I like. Peeing on somebody. <laughs> now, if I'm saying some fucked up shit, please talk to me. Mm. Make me see different. Because I don't give a fuck. Be gay. But it's the it's forcing me to... I can't say nothing. I can't say no, shit. You can't. And and no one will no one will have that conversation with you. You will be... Fucking chastised, ostracized, and chastised. I'm homophobic. And, right. I'm not homophobic. Right. I'm not. Look at. Here's my stance on abortion. Mm -hmm. Kill your baby if you want. <laughs> right. But don't say it's your body, bitch. It ain't your body. You're not special. It's cause God, to science, whatever you believe in, just cause you're the apartment building for the baby <laughs> doesn't make you special. You're not special. The entire create. The entire baby process is special but you were chosen because whether by any meeny miny mo rock paper scissors or flip of the coin that's where the baby be it's you but am i gonna fucking burn abortion clinic down no
Right. But I'm just saying, I have an opinion about it. I have a fucking opinion about it. And I'm not saying kill gays and gays can't. But I'm saying, what are you making me think? You're comparing black to gay? I can't not be black. What if I don't want to? I'm, I'm black. But people do say that there's no choice in being gay. Right. That they It doesn't matter. They can't stop it's, being gay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still something that you... You're telling me that you want me to accept your sexual orientation. That means everybody's sexual thing mm -hmm. should be accepted. Everybody who's in the bondage should be able to walk around tied up. Like, it, it, like <laughs> if, I'm t if, if, if a guy likes to tie up his wife, they should be able to walk around with handcuffs and a, and a big, a big uh, uh, a harpoon with handcuffs <laughs> yeah, and walk around because yeah. they want to express. With no one being shocked about it. With no one. Yeah. Now that's what I'm saying. But say what it is. Don't 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 make me go along with your agenda mm -hmm. based on it. People are mistaking opinion and discussion with hate and and uh, uh, telling people that you can go out and hurt these people. No, you just have an opinion on something and you want to openly discuss it, but you can't. You can in this society because it, because I have an opinion. See, it, it, legis legislating feelings is. I don't oh, man, want yeah. white people to like me if they don't mm -hmm. like. Don't force them. Don't force. The, I, <laughs> don't force. Don't don't make white people like me. <laughs> you know, but listen, I agree. Don't don't put your hands on me. Don't don't beat on me. Cause yeah. I, I'm not I'm not suggesting that. I'm only suggesting I have a theory about homosexuality. A theory. Yeah. I'm not homophobic. I don't have. I, I don't want them dead. They don't. Matter of fact, I live in New York City. I mean, you know, in the in the area. Yeah. G gayness doesn't fucking bother me. No. And for most don't guys, anybody. gayness doesn't bother them. Gay guys bother them. <laughs> gay women are fun. <laughs> you gay, baby? Good news. Yeah. You got a little bit of not gay in you? Because I want to just <laughs> be a part of yeah, that. Poke, maybe put my finger in your asshole, baby. But it's like, <laughs> it's like, can we talk about it without you saying I'm a fucking... I'm a anti this and a fucking that man. Stop! It's 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 scary. It's it's deflating. It's it's it, it makes it makes me furious, man. It makes me furious because you feel lonely and help. You feel helpless because mm -hmm. you know you have to deal with this shit to make it in this business. And I got in this business because I was a funny kid. Mm -hmm. And then I found out what comedy was, and it ain't funny. <laughs> and I'm like, it, it tricked me. It tricked me. I thought it was just fun and games and I get paid. It's everything you learn about the business that ain't the fun. It takes a little bit out of you because you to balance for me to be a good businessman. Holy shit. For me to be a good businessman, I have to take away from my innocence. Because mm -hmm. being a good businessman means you got to be an awful motherfucker. Yeah. You can't be loyal. You can't be good. to. You have to be able to chop heads, man. And it's sad because I want to have friends. Yeah, you just want to have fun and you yeah. Just, he, you just nailed it. When we're here from six to ten, this is unbelievable. This is this is the greatest thing that I, you know. Yeah, it's just the fun you could part. do. But everything around it is such a drag, and it does start eating away at you. And it, it, should, it, it shouldn't it, be like that. We don't need any fucking bosses. Trust me. We know what the fuck we're doing. We don't at this point. We don't even need a, a company behind us because of the shit that comes with that. And you would love to not have a company Dude, behind you. Yeah, yeah, we joke about it, but you know, and people beat us up for this. But we're, we we're dead serious when we tell our listeners that when ten o'clock comes, even though we go past ten. But let's say when the show is officially over, we can't get out of here fast enough because we don't want to rot anymore. You stay around here long enough, it rots you. Because so, and people go, oh, that means you don't care about the show. No, you have no idea what the fuck happens when, it, when, as soon as this show ends. When you're dealing with, when you you have humanity, and you see that you're in a game where uh, humanity, you're an idiot for having uh, a, digni a dignity or a, in, mm. a, or, or, or just a, 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 a philosophy that you live by. An individuality. A, 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 a some, you're yeah. an idiot. Mm. Loyalty in this business. Oh, my God. You're a, if you're loyal to someone in this business, you're a fucking 
idiot. <laughs> Anything you do that makes you a decent person normally, mm -hmm. in theory, in show business, you look, and I'm I'm fucked up. I talk a lot of shit, but I, I have nothing to fall back on. I've been doing this shit 20 years. Mm. I'm hoping I don't open my mouth enough where I can't do a gig in Utah for a couple of bucks <laughs> so I can fucking keep my ceiling fan turning on. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, that big crazy money, I, I'm, you know, people think, oh, he's miserable. I'm not. I'm just, it's scary, dude. It's scary. Good job, Patrice. I get the shakes when white people, old <laughs> white people say great job. I'm not. Good job, yeah, Patrice. Not, you, you're supposed to hate me. Mm. I'm, I'm anti you. Now I'm in this party, there's free sushi, free, you know, some pretty white girl is going, hi, yeah, 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 I saw your special, and you yeah. go, you idiot, you know, <laughs> but, you know, you can't do that shit, you gotta go, hello, how are you, and and, and that's, look at, ultimately, that's what Tracy did, Tracy thought it was all for free, he didn't understand, dude, that, that, it's not for free. Like I said, I, I use prison analogies and shit. If you go into prison, I'm telling you, you ever get locked up and say you, your, com your, your, your money ain't coming for a couple of days, your clothes ain't coming for, and you didn't eat for a couple of days, just don't eat. Because if somebody goes, hey, man, I, got a, I see you in trouble, man. I got some Twix and a bar of soap for you and some socks. Oh, hey, thanks. Oh, thanks, guy. Yeah, that's great. Three days later, <laughs> hey, man, I need 17 more socks. I need 17. Oh, I, I didn't tell you about the percentage. I need 12 Twix and one Snickers, and I need socks, drawers, and sneakers from you. Yeah, but you didn't tell me about that when you gave it to uh, me. Ah, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah. American me, you get a knife in your asshole on a bag of rice. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the game. That is. It is what it is. See, but, but, but see, the perception, the last thing I'm going to say, a lot of people carry themselves in the, in the perception in which they think the business sees them. Hmm. So they have confidence when they think the business thinks they're the shit, and they have nothing when the business thinks they're nothing. So when I talk, <clears throat> of course people say, fuck that fat ass, oh, fuck it. And they'll be ready to go at me because their perception is I'm not big enough in the business to be scared of. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I earn my respect based on, on me. So I don't owe. So I can go back, back and forth. So if I say Tina Fey's name, I'm not calling out Tina Fey. Mm -hmm. That bitch is powerful. But I'm saying bow down and, and say sorry to me for something you said, but Tracy's big problem, he didn't mean what he said. He just says things frivolously, right. and he had no defense for himself because he it, it came out with no meaning. He didn't say it for a reason. Me, if I say I don't like Chinese people, I don't say, if I say, hey, this is there's my, my issue with homosexuality, talk to me, motherfucker. So I'll, yeah. I'll talk to you about it. And if you can convince, I'm a fair motherfucker. You convince me of what I'm saying is to be wrong. And I'll go, you know what? I'm sorry. Because I'm sorry comes from, it's like the bill collectors when they go, sorry, sir. We, wait, wait. Don't say you're sorry. You didn't you don't do mean nothing. It. And you, and you have you don't no, mean it. you don't even have an ability to be sorry. <laughs> you're doing what you're told to do. I made a statement and that I believe. If you don't believe what I say, let's talk about it. And if you can convince me I'm wrong, then I go, I apologize, man. You you made me see different. Right. That's what an apology is. Not, I'm sorry, I fucking said faggot 80 times, and you caught me. <laughs> when, I, when I have to deal with people on the phone and they start with that sorry shit, immediately I go, don't say sorry because you don't mean it. Let's get this. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's understand each other. Sorry, sir. I'm I swear, sorry. Really? I go, no, you're not sorry. You're not you, you don't understand. Because if you're sorry, then you would see it my way, and, and then this would be the end of the conversation. Sorry, sir. That one drives me fucking nuts. I'm sorry. And, and I call him out every time now. Don't say sorry. Sorry. You're not sorry. You're doing your job. Yes. Mm. Sorry what? What is, what is your... The way you're talking, though, it doesn't seem like you then have a goal or anywhere you want to be you, you're like a, a I, status you know quo He's you just want your ceiling I, fan I, I, I think wanna, Patrice like you're torn. in the wrong fucking business obviously it, it's 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 fucked up because here's what i want to do i'm gonna tell you what i love yeah. this is why yo wait wait can, wait, 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 wait before you answer that yeah i think uh what patrice is saying a lot of other people could understand in other businesses by the way oh yeah this yeah, is not just not the entertainment show, business that's why this is a great Great hour with Patrice. There are people yeah. doing just regular office jobs that have to deal with a lot of this shit on a different yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, cops. There's well, you see the guy. There's cops that fight against the 
the the blue silence and yeah, they're yeah, like, right. oh man, that don't why are you abusing this? Right. Why are you you know somebody driving around? He's like niggas and fuck you speaks and he's he's like why are you doing why are you doing this to these people? And he's like. <laughs> What are you fucking rookie? What are you a f what are you a homosexual Taylor? <laughs> what about just in the corporate world in, a, in an office? You see the guy. I'm talking to a lot of people right now. You see the guy that got the promotion over mm -hmm. you. You know you're better. Yep. But he was playing the fucking game. He did, simple as that. He, he did what he, he had played to do. those dumb things that you just don't want to do. And and you're an idiot. Yeah. For to, not for yeah. not that doing game, it that way. Right. But right. you truly are an idiot because that's the game. You're yeah, in. You're fucked Those up are the by rules. Not, by not being what that other guy was. So you get. picked the game, but I didn't yeah. pick this game based on what I find out is. is I picked it on the fact that I I, you're a funny I, kid. I was a funny kid, and and what you you said is I, I, I my goal is to somehow have an ability to reach out to whoever wants to listen, and I get money for it mm -hmm. somehow. I don't know how to do that, which mm. is which is people who just agree or not agree, they, but they get to hear another side, and and I can, I don't have to worry about apologizing every five minutes. I don't have to worry about the police kicking. I all I have to do is worry about whether someone agrees with me or not, because I'm I'm not a frivolous guy. I don't just like say this to get effect. I believe it. It hurts. It well, it hurts the, your, my heart. What kind of job is that? Like what? Nothing. What do you? But do I that? found out like, in 2011. <laughs> I st I'm 41. Yeah. I started when I was 22, and my dick got fully hard. Now I'm 41. I got to smack it a couple of times. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to be a pimp. Now I look at my girl. I go, hand me my pills, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I you get tired uh, and, and it's like you, you know I I'm, I got one I got a couple of more years of boxing of yeah. fighting but I do want to be able to say something against the status quo without losing everything I have without losing everything but I you're have you're not you're not really putting yourself in any position to lose anything you're you're well you let me ask you a question yeah when when I come on a show, I've been what ten years? Yeah, fucking probably ten, eight. Do I give you good radio? No, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Of course you do. What I'm saying, of course, give you good radio. Mm -hmm. That's putting myself in a position to do well. That that's what I'm saying. I do the okay. work. So you do. All right. Uh, see, I just want to square that because elephant it, in the room puts me in that position. Right, but. What doesn't put me in that position is I got a call from a guy. Uh, he'll 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 stay nameless. He goes, man, I got this role I want want you to do. But can you not be you, but be you? Hmm. I go, what are you? Fu I knew what he meant. But I want him to say it. So you're saying you think that you can get everything good out of me without getting no bad. <laughs> the reason you think I'm good is cause of the bad part. It's mm -hmm. it's it's an entirety. So that's why it's like let's find a Patrice like I've seen breakdowns. I've been in there where uh I seen something for for radio in uh Dallas. We want a Patrice type. Patrice <laughs> O'Neill type. <laughs> yeah. Type. But they just don't they don't want to deal with my head issues. Like yeah. they want to deal with just the fact that I'm they, that I'm funny. People agree with what, what I would say, but they but it's it's too <sighs> whatever it, it, you know. No, but, I, but I'm saying I'm doing the work. I'm on the show, uh -huh. having a good people listen, and people like you know when we're when we're doing it and the synergy and everything. But but then, but then it seems like all right. So you're doing the work. You're putting the work in. Yes. Then when the offer comes in to take it to the next level, mm -hmm. you need. Absolute Patrice perfection. Your mind has to look at this, study the offer, and be like, "I don't want any risks. I don't want to be a, in, indebted to anybody. I don't want oh, no, this. no, no, no. Risk. And that doesn't risk is wrong. Yeah, and in, in debt doesn't exist. Indebted is wrong. Indebted is what I'm saying is debt is when you get something for free, but you owe. Uh -huh. Like so, hey man, here's a loan. Oh, I got the money, <laughs> but there's a something else. If I feel like Listen, this reward is worth what what and and I put myself in a position where I am not going to have to go belly up mm -hmm. because my risk is this is my risk. I I know 
it's very difficult. Somehow, I'm still in the business, being who I am. <laughs> yeah. A giant nigga with a big mouth. <laughs> Not good, okay? Somehow, there's a market for that somewhere. Mm -hmm. But the market is, it, it's like the difference between you go to a party and you have uh, marijuana in your pocket, or if you have heroin in your pocket. If you have marijuana, you go, hey, everybody, everybody, you smoke, want some, want some weed? People go, nah, I don't want none, but you can smoke it right here if you want. Don't bother me. <laughs> you go, I got some heroin. Motherfuckers go, I do it, but you don't fucking pull heroin out. <laughs> yeah. So basically what I'm saying is, I'm, there's a market for me mm. with the people. But it's not a market for me with the 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 thing the the thing I I want it I want the risk the risk is I have an opinion that can be challenged by status quo and then I can fight that's my risk mm -hmm. why should my risk I'm not afraid of shit I'm it's it's the fact of dude. You deal with these people up here. Mm -hmm. They say things to you, and you got to keep your job. But a lot of the shit, it's a lot to do with the money and the and the things you have that you want to keep good. So you deal with a little bit. And I've dealt with some little shit here, and then I dealt with. But I go, you know what? Here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to. People go with the office. I go, man. I don't want to be on a show where I give eighteen hours of of my life. And I, I don't give half ass. I give my piece of me when mm -hmm. I'm doing stuff. And it possibly, they could use it or not, depending on how they feel. <laughs> I don't have the energy for that. So if I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight to be the HNIC. I'm going to fight to be able to say what the fuck I want to say and know it's going to be there. And, and that's what I want to fight for. But see, the risk is trying to be me in this business. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 my risk is this. My risk is opening my fucking mouth. It's risky. It's a risky thing. Yeah. So I'm not afraid of nothing. I just don't want to be at a party and somebody goes, Patrice, here, try this. What is it? Yeah, it'll, it'll make you feel better. I don't drink shit that makes me feel better, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Listen, um, the party's over for you. <laughs> <laughs> the party is over. So I want to go in knowing, look, man, my deal and this is why I mess with Jews. I make 10000 you get 1000 and a tip. Mm -hmm. And thank you. We eat, laugh. I want to make my money, say what I want. And as long as I'm making my money, you leave me alone. Are we square? Bam. Are we square? <laughs> Bam! Bam! <laughs> Just like the mob. You a good earner, you live. Yeah. I just want to be a good earner. And say what the fuck I want to say. What else am I going to do? Yeah. I, I have fun on this show. We talk shit. Mm -hmm. That's what I do well. It's it's embarrassing to say. We've been trying for years to have you have your own radio show. And it, it's oh, just not happening. That's no. fucking, it's, it's just no. not it's fucking happening. We've yeah. thrown your name to these guys a million fucking and times. And they know. A million you, fucking times. You guys times. have an access to great comedians. And right? I don't... Of mm -hmm. course, great that. comedians. I, and I don't understand why they're not fucking biting. Because... I don't get it. You know why? They know... First of all, they don't want to come up with money for anybody. That's no. the first thing. Yeah. You know, but, 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 but it does Nick, cost a little bit. Nick, Nick you, they know who... Listen, they can't control you. When you don't have nothing... Mm -hmm. Look... They can't control you if yep. you, the, the way that you control a motherfucker that don't got nothing is you give them something. <laughs> and then you hold that something over their head. Right. It is what it is. And without, That's exactly it, man. Without wow. naming names, this, this place, Sirius XM, is filled with a lot of shitty shows that they pay very well. And then we come to them with, uh, hey, you know, there was a time they want to fill up this channel with some names and stuff. I'm like, but Patrice O'Neill is on. I swear to you, I'm not saying it because you're here. You're, uh, you're on the top of the fucking list. I've said it until I'm blue in the face. Not, uh, you know, nothing has happened. We almost had something going when we were just XM. Almost. It was mm -hmm. on its way, right? Yeah, Black Phillip was fun. And it was ready to yep. go to the next level, but it just never did. But here's the thing. But that wh whoever's, I, whoever's saying, well, isn't he talented? What you just said will tell you the thing. You have some really mundane motherfuckers walking around. And that, and, and Emma bringing the race, one racial aspect of it. This is the This is another thing. You can't be a mediocre black guy and and have a job you that's why i said when racism's over is when you could be m just mundane 
and have a job. Whether you hate Obama or not, he's a spectacular dude. He's like, you can't not watch him the way he walks, the way he is. So the hatred and vitriol motherfuckers have for him is based on his spectacularness. You can't have a normal, regular dude. I'm, look at man. For, for me to be on radio and make five hundred dollars a week, that's that's you know what kind of bargain that is. Somebody might go, man, you're crazy. You should do it, dude. I'm, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have to work this hard. How do you explain those fucking tr fat traffic bitches then? They got jobs and they're real mediocre. But, but, wait, but that's a TSA that's a job. Workers. That's that's the that's, that's a, a trick job, to do is put mediocre people in a power position, right? Because they are willing to subjugate you. Because they they're not elite. They don't have respect. That's why when you put a woman in certain power and weak people in power. They're the best people to have in power because <laughs> they they get to look at you with confidence and a fucking, you know, you can carry a weapon on you and you can you could do things. You're on the <laughs> and they go, I'm going to make your life miserable because I suck. <laughs> That's why the media is going after LeBron. The, the, who's attacking LeBron? Short, bald nothings who are jealous of him. You give him a position where you can affect a, a powerhouse like him, and, mm -hmm. and they, uh, you think they're prepared for that? They're not. That, that, that's why mediocre people, they do that so they can control them. You know. But really, the, the, the only thing that scares me is, look, it, it, if somehow it rains some money, and I just could be comfortable that you know, my mom's was getting you know, sicker and sicker, and I, I can take care of her, mm -hmm. my woman get her shit, and I can pay and keep them ceiling fan. I'll fucking do some free shit at my house. Yeah. I'll go on the thing and just talk shit about. That's why I respect Alex Jones. This motherfucker is a soldier. I don't give a fuck if you don't like him or not. He is. He has the energy to f to do what he's doing. And and I would do that. If, but but dough is important. Yeah, yeah, uh, obviously. Dough is you, important. You, 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 it's important you can't every be single homeless. person alive, right? Yeah. Jesus, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But 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 to make that funny money, dude, you know, you look at. Look, I go like this. I had an argument with somebody. I said, "How the fuck is Ellen DeGeneres? When did she become the moral compass?" <laughs> She's a bull. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. She's strapping on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are you telling me a big mouth nigga ain't got no opportunity? Somehow, <laughs> they the people who make things happen, they can they can influence anybody's thought process. So I want to be in a position where I can just influence thought thinking without being attacked by a a, a cartel. That can just tell you you you're a fucking you're a homophobe or you're a or anti semite you're a racist you're this and you, uh, you hate women motherfucker so what <laughs> yeah I don't think you're ever gonna see that though unfortunately I mean it'd be great but that's you're talking about some kind of fucking paradise it's getting yeah, worse it's getting worse Ellen, worse, De Ellen you know? DeGeneres has to fucking suck fucking dick. You know, figuratively yeah, yeah. speaking. You know, she's horrified by the dick, but she's got to fucking get down and suck some dick to keep that position. That Why? Because she likes her fucking but twenty I, I million say, dollar mansion I didn't say I was out there in Hollywood. Didn't say I wouldn't suck a dick figuratively. Right. I've had <laughs> sucked a dick. We've all tapped. We've all sucked. I, there's the no way I haven't tapped. Dick. But it's 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 what I'm saying is like okay. Years ago, they offered me like a hundred something thousand to do celebrity fit club. Mm -hmm. I said I would love to do that for the health. And okay. the money, but it's not for the health or the money. Celebrity Fit Club are people who used to be relevant that became fat has mm -hmm. Now they are coming as a, they're presenting themselves as fat has under the lie of health because they all go back to yeah. being fat has <laughs> I said, I haven't even been a me yet. I can't do a fat has show. When I'm not a fat has-been. Well, you could just, it's like people go, man, just go in backwards, man. Take it in the ass. And then when things, <laughs> when things go your way, you could go, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. No, man. No. $2 million to CBS is ass wiping. My, it's oh, yeah. to do research. Right. On how to make $10 million. <laughs> it, it, it don't mean nothing. People like Charlie Sheen, $2 million. $2 million to Charlie's great. 
But two million to CBS is nothing. Mm -hmm. And and you think that you can hold these people hostage? They don't give a fuck because corporations kill us. Mm -hmm. They don't give a fuck. So I'm just trying to s find my place where I'm sitting over there and people go, oh, Patrice. Yeah, that's it. I could talk shit and whoever wants to listen, they listen and enjoy, you know, like my tweets. When I tweet, I try to tweet a nice tweet. I don't frivolously tweet. Oh, better tweet on this. I tweet shit that yeah, when you feel I tweet when I think right. it's necessary to tweet. I tweet when I when it's when I'm feeling tweetable. <laughs> <laughs> With that, it's Big Mama Prawns. Uh, we should go to break, man. That was uh, oh my god. Yeah, you summarized the whole fucking thing, man. Holy shit. That's a uh, wow. It's a yeah. life lesson right there today. The perspective. You remember last time you were in, you were singing the blues. Yes. Oh shit! With Warren Haynes, I want to play that today. <laughs> That was good, oh, man. I, I thought you pulled it off, man. That was, an, that was, it was embarrassing a, and fun at the same time. It was, it was a moment. It was cool. Are you promoting anything, Patrice? Yes. Oh, shit. I actually, yes. Caroline's. Really? Caroline's. Yeah. I'm at nice. Caroline's one night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Just one night. And, uh, you know, that's it. Awesome. And, and it's not a big weekend. It's just one night. Sh Eight o'clock show, one night. Yeah. Uh, to see Patrice at Caroline's. 212 757 Full set. 4100. Full set. Hour and some Get change. your tickets now because this thing will sell out. Here's Patrice O'Neill with Warren Haynes. <laughs> All right, this is a, a little weird. It's going to be Patrice O'Neill, Warren Haynes. Man, yeah. this is all spoken. Man. You know I've been enjoying things that kings and queens will never have. In fact, kings and queens can never get. Mm. And they don't even know about it. In good times, mm. great googly moogly. Go great googly moogly. <laughs> I have had my fun. If I never get well no more I have had my fun If I never get well no more Oh, my health is fading on me spent more money than a millionaire because if i had kept all my money that i already spent i would have been a millionaire a long time ago and women ooh, women Shape I'm in Please write my mama Tell her the shape I'm in Tell her to pray for me Patrice, that's all uh, right. Yeah. That was, that's Harlem Wolves. You got to listen to Harlem Wolves, though, man. That's it's all right. right. Though. Song. You got a voice on I'm you, going down slow. You just sit right. Hanging with Patrice O'Neill. I, I just uh, checked my Twitter, and everyone's like, man, I want to follow Patrice. So it's Big Mama Prods on Twitter. All capital letters. That's our Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> just loud on Twitter, even. What Everything has to just be loud. What are you yelling loud. for? Like, stop yelling. <laughs> big Mama Prods. All <laughs> capital stop letters. Stop yelling. I know this is old, but did y'all give a big round of applause to the greatest side bitch of all time? Oh, what? Uh, what? The great Mildred? Uh, that's. Uh, I hope you did, you know? That's that's uh, Arnold's. Arnold's, yeah. yeah. I'm just making sure mm. that y'all understand that she's the ultimate... 
side bitch in the history yeah. of all side bitches. She kept yeah. her fucking mouth shut. Fuck. She took queen a of pinch side like a man. She didn't talk. What? God, uh, she kept ugly, her mouth you shut. Go, I can see. How did that story get out when the kids started getting older and older and it looked just like Arnold that like she couldn't Puerto say no Rican anymore? Arnold <laughs> right? no, that's hilarious. <laughs> He's got the same fucking face. Is that disturbing? That really is. <laughs> and, and was saying it before the show. He's even got the same teeth, the same jaw, man. the How same jawline, everything. Uh, yep. A bunch of kids just speaking Spanish and then everything ends in Schwarzenegger. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just lifting couches as a toddler. I mean, God damn, <laughs> all the signs man. were there. I just, I just looked at it. I just was like, fucking goddamn, uh, that girl, that lady. Yep. Uh, I, I uh, was just talking to Patrice about Hangover too. You saw the movie, obviously. It was all right. <sighs> Not as good as the first. Is definitely a drop off. It's going to be. It was a huge hit. Money wise, you know. I said it was a. Money I said it was going to be a, a master hit. But and dude. three is going to be. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's no. a, it's a. But know what Hollywood does when they when don't when they don't feel confident about their movie, they film it somewhere else uh, in an exotic place. So you have cool exotic shit to look at <laughs> to, that distracts you from the story and the to material. Be, to be fair, huh. where where would the next one be? It's the same thing. What in New York, Meh. Vegas again? They gotta. You know. I actually thought that was I, I, the I, best thing about the movie is the is the I, Thailand. But I think that backdrop is so gritty. I, I really think that's a trick that Hollywood uses, though. They go away exactly. Well, with Sex in the City, they, they threw them in well, fucking in Egypt or some one. shit. Sex and the City's perfect. For those they, old hags to fucking go to Egypt. They, yeah, they knew they had a Egypt. shitty movie, but like, hey, let's throw the bitches on camels in the middle of the desert, and you see the pyramids. So that's the, that's a shark jump. You should we should look out for. I think so. It's a theory. I can't argue with that. It's a theory. The location, yeah, change the location. Maybe Hangover Two. You're right. Where else would they go? So maybe it doesn't work as well there. I you're thought right. they had, I thought it had a pretty good look, man. I really did, and I thought. I thought Ken Jeong was funny as hell, man. I think that fucking Ed Helms is is the. Is the is the go to guy in that movie, man? Like Ed Helms. Ed Ed Helms is his thing keeps it all together to yeah. me. I think he's hilarious. I haven't seen the second one yet. They yeah, uh, the first one. Though. Yeah, they were all in. Yeah, so, yeah the material was edgy. And, uh, the Mike Tyson at the end was so uncomfortable. Oh man, not in a good way either. Do you it's understand like, how painful it is to see uh, Mike to Tyson see as him? the goofball? Because I never was a guy who subscribed to he's a bully. How is it that I you knock people out? And I knock people out for a living, and I'm a bully. I'm <laughs> fighting you. Bullies, <laughs> they don't fight. He knocked out other muscular men. Yeah. Why? Yeah. You know, I never, I never got that. He, Mike, he's a bully. I'm supposed to look at you angry before I fight you. Yeah. I'm supposed to kick your ass. And now he's, he's a dancing, singing fool. You yeah. guys say fool. They turned him into like Mighty Joe Young. How, how bad does he want to be famous? <laughs> oh, oh, yo. oh my God! Oh my God! You just, oh, like, fuck it! Yeah, oh, look it. It. it just hit me, man. Where you fucking? Come on, man. That's pretty funny. You're fucking fucked you up. Take some guy that's that's all powerful. Come on, man. That's pretty funny. You guys are powerful and shit. Oh my God. And then he's with some bitch on some fucking pond in Central Park. Funny is funny, brother. That's oh, funny. Shit. That's Mike Tyson. They just bullshit. hit me. Mighty Joe Young, man. Yeah. They the just... guy was all powerful. What did they do and, to him? And then he's skating on that ice thing with that bitch. Oh, <laughs> falling on his ass. Oh, look at me. Good question. What did they do to him? He used to knock out guys. Yeah. Like an well, animal. He, and well, now he's singing One Night in Bangkok at the end of a fucking comedy. Because they, they realize, oh shit, we didn't put him in the movie yet. Here's something <laughs> for you. Maybe. He's, not, he's in the last 60 seconds of the movie yet. That's yeah. it. Yeah. In the first one, he was kind of right in, right in the middle there, you know? <laughs> he said, uh, I think the credits were rolling over his face as they were ma allowing him to make oh, a fool of himself. Oh, is he the credits himself. guy? Uh, I hate that. It was a big surprise for the... Yeah. Look, if you haven't seen the movie, whatever. Yeah. But it we're... wasn't a bad movie, though, I have to say. It was it better than I thought ridiculous. it would be. There's definitely a drop-off from the first one. Because it was because it was this, it, the excitement, of the surprise of the first one. Right. Yeah. But they, this one is no did, surprise. But I think they lived up to. They redid you know, the mm. first movie in Thailand, basically. Absolutely. And the uh, they're saying that the tattoo, Ed Helms' tattoo, the Mike Tyson tattoo, they're going to take that out when they make their Blu-rays. Really? Because uh, the dude, the, the, the dude, dude that, is pissed off. Yeah, but they told the dude to fuck money. himself. It's, it's a rap, I think. Yeah, like he didn't get his dough. 
He, no, he didn't get his dough, so he's pissed off. He wants to sue, so they're like, fuck the lawsuit. No, no, that's done. So why are they taking it out of the uh, Blu-rays? Maybe that it was might part be, of the bargain. It might be a... Maybe that's part of the settlement? Maybe. Uh, why not? They, he didn't give him nothing. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought he had a good case. I, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I guess it was an original oh, piece wow. of art or something. I would have fucking well, like, why not pay that motherfucker? Just give him a few bucks. Yeah. You know how much money that when you see what that money, that movie grossed on its opening week, it's already up to what two hundred and fifteen million dollars. They can't throw the guy a few grand or something. Just like ah, here you go. I think it's a, I think it's a great franchise because the next one, who gets lost. How did they do? And what did they do? Yeah, you know, I think the next one's in in uh, Amsterdam. Yeah. So, but if they get if they get right. tricked if they get tricked for the third time where they have to run all over the city when the answer's right in front of them. Oh no! I, could they at least change that? <laughs> he was in the he was in the red light hooker's pussy the whole time. <laughs> right. How did? Golly gee! Two, two movies in a row. Two movies in a row. They're searching all over the fucking place, and and they never had to leave the hotel. But that's the, you know what? If they do that for a third time. Why do they change on. it? Now now the third time everybody, the formula, everybody's right? going to go, oh, he's fucking over he's, there. He's going to be in the closet the whole time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's under the bed. We didn't have to leave the room. <laughs> but this time they're going to trick us. He's in England. Woo! <laughs> I, mean, I miss Patrice. So, yeah. Patrice, what a, I, I got to get your, your take on this. Uh, you following any of the Casey Anthony uh, trial? A little bit, yeah. because they're trying to make it a big deal, like yeah, a really yeah. big deal. Yeah. But my thing is, it seems, um, you know, like she's she's being public opinion to put her in jail before. Oh yeah. Before actual evidence. I've never seen. A trial where the news people that are supposed to be covering this are so prejudiced against it. Against now, them. obviously, look, it, it looks like she's pretty fucking guilty. Um, I don't think, but they that's can not prove the point. It, right? In, look at in this in this world. Uh -huh. All all I want is like if you're gonna fake that I have this amazing freedom, that right, to, uh, yeah, if, innocent if until proven it, guilty. Let's go with it. Yeah, yeah. But right now, I think they're just like, look, we think she did it, and we're gonna make sure we push. They Public are all opinion just to get this in horrible woman and what she did with this child. Oh, this awful, terrible. But and can I like, say, say before, you, before you do that, though, yeah. you have to be fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be fair. It's about OJ. Yeah. If you're going to look at he got found not guilty. That's oh, what I this know. game yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. But this world would not let that slide. They was willing to change the justice system we to get that. this nigga. But, but, it's not. but this girl, I'm I'm trying to say, look, it does seem like yeah. that this girl, it, it's supposedly from what I, the movies and the Three Stooges things I saw, it's <laughs> fucking innocent till proven guilty right. beyond the shadow of it, beyond reasonable, reasonable yeah. doubt. Yeah. So... It, it's not looking good for her just by public opinion, but as far as the case go, that dumb prosecutor who looks like Nancy Grace, yeah. that dumb bouffant hairdo <laughs> trying to make her name, is she's babbling on. I don't think they have enough, not for murder one. And the black judge is great. Oh, my God. That guy is a TV judge. He's he a should great be, judge. He should be a, or a movie judge. He's like that. It should be in the movies. He's like Skilly Doo. Skilly yeah. Do they say some shit? Well, uh, yeah. you're going to have to look at this paperwork. It's clear. It ain't no. F it's just. Uh, no Judge Ito. Let's be honest. Like, it's very fair. Yeah. And. Just, you know, they, they're like, uh, Your Honor, we'd like to call for a mistrial based on the evidence that the prosecution put up crossways. And the prosecution's like, no, you know, this is uh, we have precedent in this case and stuff. And the guy's like, my motion denied. <laughs> Let's take a break. We're going to recess till three. <laughs> well, I can understand that. I thought I needed to know legal mumbo jumbo. <laughs> I, want, I, want to work in, I want to work in that world where we can just go, we're going to take a recess. Yeah, until, what do you uh, say? We're going to finish our show. Uh, what do you no, say? Three in the afternoon. <laughs> But we're gonna, she is. We're gonna take four hours off. That. She is the typical white trash, fucking, just crazy bitch that would something, be at my house. Something happened. Yes, oh, we know. Something I, I don't. I don't. You know, I don't, think I don't know. If she. One. I don't think it was premeditated murder. murder. Kid, but a lot of irresponsibility. Yeah. My. Uh, something thing. happened. And then, uh, I don't and then know she whether said, it's. Fuck! I gotta cover this yeah. shit up. It's more a cover up than it is. She liked uh, the party. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so something and the kick out in the way of the party. Something bad happened because yeah. I know I, I always think sometimes if, you know if I'm looking down, texting or doing something wrong, I ain't supposed to. And I go, I go, what am I? I sometimes I stop and I go, <laughs> I envision myself hitting someone. Yeah. And I go, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? But then I envision myself leaving. Yeah. And leaving the person fucking flapping like a fish in the street. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's my first instinct is to run. Really? Run. Yeah. Like, I go, damn, so something happens to, to a kid. You go, oh, my God, man, what, what am I going to do? There's no witnesses. There's no nothing. You just mm -hmm. go, I'm leaving myself <clears throat> on the mercy of, of, of what you're going to do to me. Just like Plastico Burris. I know the letter of the law, you get two years, but... Like he shot himself. <laughs> like, like, like prison is supposed to be a place for redemption and to uh, 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 pe penance. <laughs> yeah, the penitentiary. But, but it's like they send you to jail. I learned my lesson. I don't think every murderer should have to go to jail. Like, <laughs> I, I shot that man. I don't shoot anybody else. Yeah, I'll never I shoot anyone God, else it again. Fuck me up. I'll never <laughs> shoot anyone. Plastico shot himself. That should have been good enough. Him. Yeah, like, I think he's gonna I use a holster next time. I don't think he's gonna shoot himself again anytime <laughs> soon. Use a holster, you dumb motherfucker. Like, he hates guns now. Yeah, well, I we, know. We, did he hear us talk about that? No. He's, he's, it's sort of like the Tracy thing. All of a sudden, he now hates now he's guns. a spokesman and, for the Brady and, 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 fucking This bill. guy loves guns. The Brady organization for gun safety. He wants to. He wants to get back in the NFL. Yeah, but here's and he's thing. not sure if it's a guarantee that he's gonna have a shot at that. Yeah. What's wrong with him saying this? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's wrong with him saying? Uh, I, I I don't love guns, but here's why I carry guns. I niggas ain't shit. They gonna rob me, try to steal my money, and do shit. I don't like white people, so I'd rather carry a gun and hang out with black people than to not carry one and hang out with white people. I don't think that'd wash. The safety of white people, I don't need a gun, but niggas are way more fun. But they, but they crazy. But they crazy. Uh, These shit. niggas think this, this watch is real. I'm just chilling. God damn. I'm just chilling. Oh, uh, shit. I can return. Yeah, he wasn't registered in Jersey or fucking New York, obviously. Of course not, because he was, he was doing some hood shit. Yeah, right, yeah. Man. He's sticking his fucking a 40 in his goddamn sweatpants. You can't... If you're going to put a gun in your waistband and be all cool and shit, you better have a tight fucking waistband. You can't put it in sweats. You can't even put your wallet. I've tried like like <laughs> the, the fucking someone knocks on the door and I know I need a little money and I try to put my wallet in my sweatpants or something. It just falls out the foot of your pants. A gun? That ain't going to fucking himself. stay. And he shot himself in the fucking leg. He was all cocked, not locked. The fucking thing shoots himself in the leg and then he gets a couple of years in the jerk. Is there any way people could fucking fix their... I don't think about how to fix LeBron's situation of hatred. Yeah. And I swear, it. it but he fucked up because they lost. I was thinking how he would have got out of it mm. if they won, oh. right, during the championship celebration. He he cried, and he's feeling very sad. Oh. And people are like, what's going on, man? And he just goes, I, uh, I, I just can't help but think about Cleveland. And I made a big mistake. I feel like this... Celebration should be. <laughs> Where's this going? With, oh, damn. With Ohio. It's never what it is. <laughs> Sorry, the break that out of walking. It's never what it no, is. That'd be hilarious. But then he gets out of it. Like, he can get out of this PR thing by actually, like, going, Showing I know I made emotion. a mistake leaving, and then. I can't leave Miami. I'm under contract. What would Cleveland do? But then Miami would hate on him. No, he goes, I'm going to play hard for Miami, but I, Miami people have to understand it. It's just like all the many Cubans here. You live in Miami, <laughs> but your heart's in Cuban. I, oh, I man. made a big mistake. I, I dedicate this ring to Cleveland. <laughs> and that owner's funny looking son. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I remember that. Yeah, he went yeah. deep. Nice. Oh shit, it's man. Like, it's like you just go, you just he just has to play that PR thing. Yeah, yeah. Instead of apologize, he just goes, he just fakes it. Now I think Cleveland people would stick their middle finger up right at him. Yeah, they go fuck you on that. But the rest of the yeah. world will go. What? What do you think? He's all right. It's obvious. He's all the, right by me. It's obvious the rest of the NBA cities. What, 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 the fans in Miami, what do you think they're thinking today? 
Um, are they a little fucking like, what the fuck, dude? Nah, because they're fair weather fans are like Atlanta fans. They don't give a fuck anyway. They're not real gangster fans. They just, they was front running. They were, they were motherfuckers who enjoyed the enjoyment. But when they were down, like, look, Dallas came back from 15 down with six minutes to go. I was watching that shit this morning. Mm. Um, and that was it. They were one three in a row, oh, man. Fucking Miami was down ten with three minutes. The fans would have walked out <laughs> they did. on the way to their yachts. <laughs> yeah. Is this, did his stock drop in Miami a little bit? Mm, for now, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't. But lose here's the thing: the, the, the thing with them, though, I, can I, if I may give the advice, I think how they win. I like Wade, by the way. By the, but this, I this, love this, Wade. This say, out of man. all this. They they got this thing with it where they're trying to share. It's like no, you shoot LeBron, no, you shoot Christopher. It's like Dwayne Wade has to take over and go. You two pussies are my running. You, I. This is my team. You can tell now. Mine, mine. So shut your fucking mouth. Grab rebounds. It's it's no more the three. It's LeBron put himself in a situation to be a fucking the two guy. <laughs> Superman is the second guy. Batman runs the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> Can you yeah, imagine that Justice shit? Justice League. Fucking Wayne's going to uh, grab, take, take control now. Yeah, he's not bullshitting around. No, I could, I could feel that. They, he, he was screaming at him. He screaming was, at him. He was giving looks like, what the fuck? Yep. So next year it's going to be, I don't even, I think there's going to be some cracks in their friendship even a little bit. I, I don't think, I, I, yeah, that's what happens when you mix business with pleasure. Right. They thought it was going to be, right now, and then like, they found out Chris Bosch is a, a wailing sissy. sissy. He's a sissy. <laughs> he cries like a fat black bitch at church. Yes. He dropped to his hands and knees. You saw that. <laughs> like his motherfucking <laughs> First cousin died. He was like, "This, this is what wasn't supposed. It wasn't supposed to be." This. You didn't see that motherfucker. I saw knees buckle. I saw over a basketball game. I saw because he he believed it, man. Like we were supposed to win. Jordan's father was murdered. He <laughs> he, he came back and won three championships. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he identified the body and got back on the court. That motherfucker <laughs> didn't quit to the next year. Right. <laughs> he took a break then. Yeah. Then he finally took his break. He took that break. He he won a championship, cried because his dad got murdered at a parking lot. Yeah, he was and still beat Utah Jazz. He was crying as he was hu hugging the trophy. Yes, a, a, a pretty amazing NBA moment. Fucking Kobe got a rape beef. He's <laughs> dropped eighty. <laughs> yeah, he had that shit on his mind. White bitch in Colorado got a sodomy rape beef charge over his head. A nigga dropped eighty-one point. What do you know about that rumor? Uh, we didn't really talk about it much because I, I didn't know much about it. This is the fuck rumor again? Yeah. Well, you, I'm going to tell you. I'm the, suspicious that LeBron's starting to fucking mm, put these rumors out there because he's scared of winning or something. Rashad Griffin, Rashad Griffin, um, he got on the radio. I heard him say he got on the radio. He, the way he denied it, I believe him because he, 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 he sounds scared. Mm. He, said, he said, man, I don't know her. I, I know I didn't fuck her. No. He <laughs> said, we are in a, he said sorority, but I, he meant fraternity. He, right. he said that our fraternity is too fucking small. I would never, I called his stepdad or whatever. <laughs> I, he said he called some people. I don't know who he called, but he, the way he sound, he sound like a motherfucker said, oh my God, please don't put me in the middle of no shit like this. Yeah, yeah. I believe him. I had to believe him. He said he called their people and their people said, I, we believe you. Who's starting that shit then? Well, it, it was rumors that Jason Terry was saying some fucked up shit to LeBron. Like Jason Terry said, he ain't gonna be able to guard me. But I heard Jason. I heard a rumor on on a black websites that <laughs> Jason Terry was saying shit about LeBron's mom's getting fucked. He was saying this shit that that's why your boy's fucking your girl now. That's why your boy was shot. That that's what I. That's what that, it's Jesus. all hearsay. But that Terry, Jason Terry. Was fucking with him bad, damn. Yeah, yeah, mentally fucking with him like like. And Jay, Jay, Jason Terry's questionably a, a you know a bad little asshole. <laughs> like he, you know he's a motherfucker. He's a motherfucker, Jason Terry. Apparently so. Yeah, that's Jesus. but but that that rumor I I it was squelched. But I believe I believe it, I, I believe that he didn't you know yeah <clears throat> do that. What's that story I heard this morning about? Uh, God damn. Supposedly, some guy got his ass beat because he might have had a sex tape of Shaq. 
Oh, yeah. Shaq, Shaq, Shaq sent some people out to fuck somebody up yeah, to get that take well, back. Shaq wasn't um, implicated in any of this, but uh, no, something went on. They grabbed this guy and beat the living piss out of him and just kept asking him, you know, where's the fucking tape? Where's the sex tape? A Shaq sex tape. Gang accused of kidnapping man who claims to own Shaq sex tape. That's got to be an ugly fucking sex tape. Yeah. It's a big fuck. <laughs> big Shaq. Just like you ever, you, ever, away. you know, you ever fucking be cur you ever fuck a girl that fucked the celebrity and you just went on big day packing? <laughs> <laughs> just to know. And the word you think you think Shaq, I mess with a girl that fuck Shaq, and you think Shaq would have a a baby arm? Yeah. But but they said he was fucking. Was, right, and right. that's probably if he had a baby arm, you like fuck it, watch the tape. Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. I would try very hard to get my sex tape back. If you didn't. <laughs> But maybe he does have a baby arm, but because he's seven foot tall, it doesn't look like a baby arm. Nah, an eight nah. inch dick is an eight inch dick on anybody. I mm. think. <clears throat> you don't need a fourteen inch dick. <laughs> no, you're oh, ten, no. inch, ten, ten feet tall. <laughs> okay, good the vagina is the same size. So, yeah, I you mean, know, you know, it's not gonna make a difference. <laughs> yeah, he supposedly. Well, we can't prove it, but obviously, he, had, he might have sent some boys to. Rough up some yeah, people. he he. Like I said, he hasn't been implicated in or anything. Or at least he he knows people that would do that for but him without gang him asking. Is, yeah. Probably. Yeah, like that'd be odd, wouldn't it? Somebody just beats the shit out of this guy if the word didn't come down from someone that at least knows him very closely. Mm -hmm. You don't just all of a sudden go, "What? Some guy's claiming he's got a Shaq tape? Mm -hmm. I like Shaq. Let's go beat the fuck out of this guy and torture him until wait, he gives us the wait, fucking tape." Wait a minute, though, but don't please don't 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 rule out a dumb bitch that <laughs> said that's why. Shaq got a, oh, that's why I got a sex tape fucking Shaq. Yeah, yeah. Or my girl fucking Shaq, and I gave it to this nigga. And they said, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, him. He got it. <laughs> oh, shit. And this guy's just like, huh? He gets the shit beat out of him. Motherfuckers do crazy shit over some pussy. That's why I got a, a Shaq sex tape. I'm going to sell it. <laughs> and I gave it to my friend. Cleophis, right there, he got it. <laughs> and you gonna have to fuck him up to get it, cause he love me. He ain't gonna let you get my fucking oh, sex date. Oh damn, that's <laughs> you dumb bitch. Don't fucking put me in the middle of this shit. That is fucking absolutely what could happen. Women can get yeah. you fucked up. They get yeah. a motherfucking loving what? you enough. What? Holy what shit, that's funny. What do you think of Shaq retiring, man? He should. Yeah, it was time. He's a giant fat man. His knees is <laughs> coming up to <through> his hips. <laughs> He's a fucking forty-year-old fat ago. man. He should have never made the Cleveland run. Which <laughs> trying to, trying remember to the shovel? Charming. Remember the shovel they gave him when he went to Cleveland? Because there's a lot of snow up there. You didn't remember the press conference where they handed him a shovel? You had to stand there. You're gonna need it up here, Shaq. What do you have to stand there with a snow uh, shovel? He a brand got new a, shovel. He got out of there fast. It's like he's yeah, fucking he there but shoveling he's, snow. He's a, he should he should be done, and I hope he doesn't come back because they say he might, but. Um, you know they'll they'll make Shaq a, a great uh, like one of a Charles Barkley dude. Yeah, I don't think he has the personality. I never thought he had that personality. He's very monotone, man. He he thinks he's hilarious though. He does right, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, his delivery is yeah. very very. I see hot. Use <laughs> eyes, yeah. I love Barkley. He's just fucking. <laughs> there's really nothing going Barclay on. Barkley was trash in Miami so bad. Barkley said. Uh, Barkley said uh, he goes. I hate it's something about that team that makes me sick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> a lot of fucking smack that. talkers in did, basketball. I think yeah. more so than any other sport. Oh yeah. Did did yeah. you tweet this? Patrice's tweet after the heat loss about LeBron <laughs> has Superman abilities but wants to be a wonder twin. <laughs> Power of a bum. <laughs> Power of a bum. Shit, no form. A oh, form of a bum. Form of oh, this guy wrote yeah. yeah, yeah, form, form of, of a bum. bum. Almost famous thing. <laughs> and you don't care about hockey, obviously. You're from Boston. You got the Bruins mean, game I, seven. Tonight, actually, man. somehow I care about it. You do care. Now you but care. This, because, well, yeah. well, well, it's been a great it's ugly. Boston, yeah, it's yeah. been a great ugly series. I'll be watching. Tonight. It's not been an ugly series. It's Lotta been fucking, uh, hard for Boston to score in Vancouver. Right. And then they scored 90 goals in Boston. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just saying ugly with the hits and everything that's been going on. Oh, man. I, it's been great hockey. That guy Patrice was his name, Bergeron, maybe? He got fucked up. Sometimes, you, you know, you know I'm getting old. You know you're getting old when you can't watch violence no more. Like It just makes you go like, oh. I used to go on sites to see beheadings on a regular basis. Damn. Now, oh. I can't, now violent hockey hits. 
Yeah. It's and the, the guy sitting there ooh. doing the shake. The apologia. Oh, I watch these websites. They'll have um, somehow young women are getting very brutal. Oh, man. Violent. Dude, I've watched those videos. It's crazy. They're beating the living shit out of each other. You know what I can't take on those fight videos? I can take, like, the punching and shit like that. He's still, when someone's down and they get kicked in the face. They get kicked or their head stomped. stomped. Like, when their head is just bouncing and they're knocked the fuck out. I don't like that. I don't like the no, violence. I don't like no that. Like I, that. I don't like that. that too. Yeah. I don't like no. that. And and girls, girls are getting brutal. Crazy. Young teenage girls are becoming fucking animals. Yeah. Just crazy, man. I I like the fights though, where the the guys are like, oh damn, you know, and he's picking up weave pieces. He's picking up fucking weave pieces and they're showing them to the camera because these two bitches were going animal on each other. We, I was scared of adults. Now, <laughs> yeah. now it's like, um, my mother came to visit last year and some kids were doing something. And she goes, now, you know y'all ain't supposed... I said, mums. <laughs> mums. mums. No, mums. No. No, 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 no. This ain't Shh. back in the day where everybody yeah. goes, sorry, miss. <laughs> <laughs> Kick my mother's fat ass and she'll die from one punch. Like, mums, please don't get killed trying to be... Oh, Old lady respect oh. Jones and shit. Oh god, damn. Miss Respecty Jones from the block. From, now you know you b boys ain't supposed to be. D well, shut up, fat bitch. Now come up, mums. Just come on up. You just described a hundred movies <laughs> where the gang members respect her. Oh, just like <laughs> right. she come on the porch with a broom. Right. Y'all get out of here with your guns and drugs. Right. Shoot that fat bitch in the leg. Please don't shoot my mother leg. <laughs> right. Sir, sorry. Sir, sorry. Mom's sorry. getting the house. Mom's, this isn't the movie. Uh -huh. Yeah, this ain't the uh -huh. movie. Please. <laughs> no more for respect for, from the kids and shit. <laughs> I used to be scared of adults. Adults, adults say no. something. Any adult, you go, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Now, you, you, young kids walk by. What'd you say, old man? I told these two fat girls, hey, can you, sweetie. You see these cars, and you see people, you just threw a bottle. But oh, she looked oh, at me like, no. Oh, what were you talking Like, about? what the fuck? Nigga, yeah. please. What is this? You look can't. At, look. Oh, shit. I saw this one. This is a laundromat fight. We were just fucking, yeah. Oh, okay. You popped it up. Thank you. Yeah. I, I thought it was on TV. Pandemonium in a laundromat. It's two bitches beating the living shit out of each other. And then there's, and there's, not, there's not one that's listed 712 pounds. <laughs> oh, no, no. Them some big bitches. There's some fucking uh, oh. fighting going on here. And what are they fighting over? Uh, the the fucking dryer. detergent? The dryer, probably. The softener? I think one bitch took the other bitch's clothes out of the dryer before they were dry. That's all it takes, right? And then, yeah, and put, it, put them in a the dryer. Can and I... look, at that, look at this fucking... <laughs> Holy shit, this beefy broad... And and the guys are all with the cell phones. Oh, shit. And at some yeah, at some point they always got to turn the cell phone around and go. God damn, just beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> like get their face on it. They got to get the fuck on YouTube, <laughs> motherfucker. They got to. Uh, yeah. Here's another one. Here's another oh, one. Oh man, this bitch is real. Get out yeah. of she's squaring off. She's baby. squaring off. She's all fucking. Oh shit. Ready? She's, she's ready off. to roll. Oh. Yeah, that's my man. My man's. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Here, here it goes. Damn. Oh, no. Man, they got one where a girl gets hit by a tire iron. Oh, fuck. Let's try to find that one. Oh, she got hit by a tire iron and goes down. In a heap, and they're looking for whoever did wow. it though, because they that that guy think that girl either died or was close to Fucked dying. Fucked her up. Fucked her, uh, and the girl hit her like it was WWE. Came up behind it, looked fake almost. Oh man, they're getting brutal. But they got some white bitches on there oh, too. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. I was going to say that. Doing MMA and shit. They got white bitches yeah. doing like a, a setup official MMA. They got one where yeah. these two white girls are fighting, and the and the mother's daughter, the daughter's losing, and the mom's. Clocks the daughter, one of the girls, to just and then puts the daughter on top of her to finish. You know, Jesus Christ! Fucking, I don't know what's going on. What the fuck is going on? Is it just that there's so many like cameras around? Oh, of course. It, but but this shit really wasn't happening. I don't remember this shit happening. Ah, fuck it. In the schoolyard, uh, as I, they say. I, I think in the schoolyard. I think I don't remember. I think this. a lot of this. Has always been happening. I don't think so. No, I don't, We're just filming everything. I don't we remember just, seeing this shit. We all ha what walk around with fucking video on? cameras now. Every single one of us. Oh.
What the hell is this? It's some bitches bent over. Oh, these these are like some fucking park performers. I've seen these guys in the park. And then the one guy yeah, jumps yeah. over the uh, civilians. Oh. What the hell? These dumb tourists. Don't know. They're probably getting their pockets picked. <laughs> What the hell are they? What's the gimmick? These guys put too much work into panhandling. She's got to stand there with a fucking what happened bucket. To the, what yep. happened to the bucket guy? Yeah, where's the bucket guy? What's the big deal with this video? Because I just saw this exact act in the park a couple days ago. And what happens? Yeah. Well, somebody's getting kicked in the guy. Oh, he did a flip over the top of him. Oh, there's right. nothing going on there? There's nothing more? That's... Okay, yeah, I've seen that. Those they guys got... perform in the park all the time. Yeah, they, they had some white Sam, bitches. Why'd you, why'd you do that? It's all hype, man. They, they set it up for about 10 or 15 minutes, get yeah, everyone's yeah, money, yeah. And, the, and they do and they one trick money, where... And then the one guy jumps. Jumps over, uh, you know, six or seven people that are kind of hunched over. Just get your fucking bucket out. Put fucking... Uh, need food. Hey. Get yourself a little kitten. Put it on a blanket. Hey, uh, takes. we mentioned the O.J. trial. The only reason I go back to that mm -hmm. is because 16 years ago, one of the greatest moments happened. O.J. trying on that fucking glove. The glove that with, did not with fit. That, with that stupid Marsha Clark, like, just accepting what she was seeing instead of yeah. saying, what the fuck, will you put the glove on? All I remember her is her sickly hair. Oh, yeah. And then she had, like, a makeover by the end of the trial. She was trying to get herself, like, she better hair. She realized she was becoming famous. Yeah. Might as well look the part. You All know, of them You did. know what? I remember the name Judge Ito, 16 years ago. Judge, Judge Ito. Ito. Oh, I remember Ito. Judge yeah. Ito. Uh, what is he doing Christopher now? Christopher Darden. Christopher Darden. Is he dealing with, like, traffic shit Judge Ito's somewhere? in fucking traffic court. <laughs> yeah. You know he's somewhere. probably still behind a bench somewhere. He's a damn. He, he, that was it Darden's, for him. Darden's probably a, a researcher for... A low-level judge? Yeah, yeah, because he's the guy that lost the fucking case. Precedence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, a couple of those guys actually are still, still working. God, I forgot about Did him, Did you finally too. forgive O.J. because he's in jail? Um, yeah, you know, he's locked up. Poor O.J. with his bad knees. Can he get out and... for this and then he go back to normal? Uh, what? Why did Marcia, did she ever comment that O.J. had to put the glove over the other glove, first of all? Did that ever come up? I don't remember. It's no, been so long look, look how hard he's fucking. Look how hard he's. He's like, I don't no. fit. Look. Look how hard he's fake trying. I know. It, that's a naked gun fucking acting move. But you know what I was, why did it need to fit? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What? <laughs> what? You have to have great fitting gloves to commit a murder. A murder wouldn't you like maybe get a, a glove that doesn't fit quite yes. right, or maybe All it's a little to too do, big? If it doesn't go over the fingertips, you just you need must the quit. Yeah, you, you yeah. just need the fingertips uh, covered. Yeah, like it doesn't God, need you're to right. fit. That is great. It's like so what? Yeah. You're so right. Just hold w the way it fit him. Yeah, was good enough. You could hold that knife. Right. It you was could hold good the enough. knife. But Marcy Clark was too stupid to understand any of that stuff. Like so what? OJ's like, look, it, it can, don't it even can, go on. It the could fit just like that. The best part is OJ knows damn well that that was his glove and it he's, fit perfectly. And when he first started trying it on, he went, "Holy shit, this doesn't fit." <laughs> he's putting look. it on too. It's like. Why would they allow him? They're right. trying to go for this moment where let's get the murderer right. putting the glove on. The jury's going to actually see the murderer putting on the murder mm. glove. And they thought it was going to be so good. And he's like, this motherfucker don't fit. We're, we're watching the video right now. And when OJ first tries to put the glove on, you see the surprise in his face. Like, holy shit, it's not going to fit. Yeah. But I use these to and kill then, those people. And then Darden is just like... <sighs> Looking at the glove like, how does it not fit? I, 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 we did this a million times and <sighs> they fit when I killed those people. <laughs> I swear they did. Some people say it was OJ's son. Really? I don't think so. Do you think OJ killed those people, Patrice? Yes, and I'll tell you when I realize it. When he did you? Did you? He, hold on, hold on. Let me let okay. me back you up because I, I I know what you're doing there. When you first heard about this. Uh, it didn't matter. <laughs> didn't matter. Yeah, it didn't. This was, it was just watching it. And yeah. Okay, when did you realize? Sorry. <sighs> when he wrote the book, If I Killed the Bitch. <laughs> Here's how I if I Killed the Bitch. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> ah, that's classic. I didn't do it, because if I did it, I'd have, I'd have drowned a bitch in the toilet. <laughs> 
just gives all the details, <laughs> I, but he's safe because the book was If I. If I. If, if I, I did. If I killed this bitch, his eye I would have did it. Wasn't, so, the, mm. wasn't the if in Tiny Font, too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I. When if I, fr- I know, killed the bitch. Yeah. With, with if in a horrible little that Tiny was, Font. That, was very, that, that trial was very racial. Oh, man. Yeah, it was, just, it was just very racial. And, I, and, and, and like it didn't matter if he did. It's just the fact that he got off is when I got into it. You yeah, know? yeah. But whether he did or not, I wasn't. I wasn't too much into it. Like I didn't watch oh, it every yeah. day. And yeah, uh, look how the the cover is too. Yeah, the if part is in the middle of the eye. So oh my it, God, where's the if? That is <laughs> right, not the, a, no, that's by the Goldman family. If I did it. Oh, okay. That's the other book that was put out. You <laughs> motherfucker. That the if, if is the little if. if. <laughs> The if yeah. is inside the eye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shit, that's classic. Mm-hmm. But when... The, the, oh, we should break again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got some shit? All right. Yeah. Well, uh, you're, no, it, it's just commercial stuff we got to deal with today. Uh, We're a little I'm behind at, uh, on reads, are we? Way yeah. behind. Well, then why don't you fucking do some? Oh, can I remind people I'd be at Caroline's? Oh, uh, sure, sure. Yes. We're going to finish up with, uh, with Patrice, but he's playing Caroline's one night only tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, 212-757-4100. These tickets will sell really well, so get on the phone and uh, get yourself some tickets if you're going to be around Thursday, tomorrow, 8 p.m., Caroline's, 212-757-4100. Uh, Steve Blatter just popped his head into the studio. Uh-huh. And uh, we gave him a nice beating earlier. But oh, sure. But fair is fair. <laughs> he uh, emailed the Gene Simmons, Shannon Tweed walking off the Joy Behar show. Yeah. And it was presented in his email, in my opinion, like he thought it was real. Mm-hmm. So we had to beat him up for it. Yeah. And he popped his head in and he he swore at us, basically, saying, look, dude, I, I thought it was so obvious it was fake that I didn't have to write that. Ah. Uh. And I believe him, so, you know. Yeah, because yeah, it is. He, he said he watched the video. It was all just horrible, so. I mean, we beat the shit yeah. out of those guys, but, you know, fair is fair. I believe him. Yeah. But, unfortunately, Joy Behar bought into it. Yeah, that. Uh, I don't get that. She became part of the work. On purpose? I probably think so. She's not that nah, dumb. I don't think she's like. I don't think she's like that. I don't. I can't f- see her being that stupid. I just can't. But why? Why would she play into it? It would be it would be better guess, headlines, better headlines for her if she said this is bullshit. Guests on her show, she just fucking maybe oh, other man. publicists that yeah, represent one other of those, people. You, you know how that works. Uh, all right, one of those deals. I, I, I'll I'll it'll be curious to see how it plays out with her. Yeah, because she's got to talk about it, right? That yep. happened last night, so we'll see what she says today. Uh we did the fucking hockey. We did uh, OJ Dan Quayle potato nineteen years ago today. Wow! Where, so you know, if you was born then, you're 19 right now. Yeah, yeah. You you were you're 19 years old. Potato. And, and I remember that shit like yeah, vi- vividly. I I saw that on TV and then I drove somewhere probably to drink legally. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking. We probably me and you were probably talking about doing a gig together. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, boy, the time do fly by. Yeah. And uh, Mark Cuban is paying for the uh, Mavericks parade. Why wouldn't the city pay for that shit? Well, he I said think he get, I think in these giving them a break. Yeah, yeah, in these hard economic times, oh. doesn't want taxpayer dollars going. Yeah, to, but uh, I mean, how much could that cost? I, I think it's all like police all those, clean up all that oh, shit. Okay, okay. But all those people that are going to be part of the parade are going to be paying for parking, paying for some food, paying for some water, paying, well, paying, paying. It's uh, not going to pay for the whole fucking thing. You don't think? Why not? Paying for the whole. He's paying for the whole shit. No, I'm just saying. Why wouldn't the city pay for it, knowing the people? are going to be, you know, spending money that day. They're, the they're going to be going to bars afterwards. They're going to be eating. They're going to be doing this. Well, that they're way they, day they get to make some money instead of having to shell out some later for fucking mm. sanitation and extra security and all Fair that enough. shit. Yeah. Fair enough, sir. I Fair gather. Enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. No. And everyone is, uh, you know, talking about how he spent a hundred and, what was it, $10,000? 90000 for a bottle of uh, champagne and then a $20,000 tip, I guess. $20,000 tip. That's nice. When you got a billion dollars, it's it's just nice and relative. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Could you a hundred and ten to just play with, like just play with? That's just nothing. Garbage money. I, could, I I I would be so much fun. You could make, <laughs> it would yeah, really be a lot. You of You can fun. make people really happy. You know. Mm. I mean, that, who who do you give that twenty thousand dollar tip to? That's got to be like, holy fuck. And I wonder if they let that person have it. Yeah. And, and that's the kind of that's the kind of job like the, the a service industry industry job that oh. you know where you can get that kind of money mm-hmm. and that kind of tip that's you know because it's Miami and it's rich yeah, people yeah. and 
And so, I mean, that's amazing. But they probably yeah. have to split it. Yeah, they probably do. Yeah, split it. That's like working everybody. at a great strip club. The boss takes his skim. I feel good when I give uh, somebody 22%. 22%? <laughs> it's crazy. Are we up to 22 now? I don't know. I, it's my tip calculator. I'm a 20 guy. <laughs> Never less than 20, because the math on that's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy. Never less than 20. Yeah. And a little more if that, whatever. Is it better to give somebody that's a bad service person no tip or a shitty tip to get your point uh, across? No tip is definitely worse than even a shitty tip. And then they have to run. I think. Run out after you and go, you, you didn't tip. And you look at them and go, yeah, I know. The only, the, <laughs> and then it really hurts. The only shitty tip is the, the, the penny. When you leave the penny under the glass, overturned glass, that is a fuck you. That's saying that you did a bad job. That literally said, that isn't like, if you leave no tip, that could be anything. They forgot. Um, they're cheap as fuck. But when you leave that, it lets them know that they fucked, uh, they screwed the pooch so bad. We did that at Friendly's, just to did be you? assholes. Yeah. It wasn't even about the service. Oh, a bunch of pricks. Get a bunch of Sundays. You're crazy or... green lawn people. Yeah, we were crazy. Wow. Well, then we, we were go insane. out on, onto Broadway and kick over some garbage pails. <laughs> yeah, we were crazy. Kids. That's a, re that's a ridiculous <laughs> job to have as a job to work. Like, I think when you, you depend on people's generosity. Yeah. It's yeah. a weird thing. As it's, as a, you depend on people's generosity as it's, it's your salary. Yeah. Like, but you I do have a choice. Like I do, I do have a choice just not to tip. Not to no, tip. you don't. Yeah. No, no. Yes, you do. Why is it le? There are places. Why is it legal where they go? Oh, we added the oh, tip included. Yeah, that's kind of weird. How I is think that that's legal? More than six, though. I know. I've that's, seen somewhere. It doesn't matter. Sometimes how many people? Yeah, some places now it's across the board. And my thing is, I, I believe it or not, I mean, for the show, sure, I'm cheap, short arms, whatever. But I'm, I'm, I, I'm a good tipper. I really am. But I want to be feel like I have a choice in this. Yeah. You get that bill, it's like, oh, we added the 18% tip. Because I feel like if, if the tip's included, then they're not going to have to work as hard, right? Yeah. Or do that little extra that makes you go, you know what, I know. that was nice. I'm going to fucking, you know, give a nice tip today. Yeah. Well, it's like, I mean, uh, the, the hotel, the, you know, uh, room service. Room service. They the, put it in, but yep. I still feel... Like I gotta give them a little something because you like, old, damn. You want to do that old school, and this is for you, sir. Yeah. You know, take a thought. Why? Well, thank you, thank I you, Mister. I give them like a five, right? But they put it on the tip, but I go, you know, if I order, you you want this person to to feel good about the situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and but how weird thing. is it that? And I want them to make it snappy. But how weird is it that the tip included on room service? You you feel guilty, like you have to give them more because yeah, they're, yeah. Yeah. they're more. there. Yeah. The hotel steals from them. But they're obviously getting a really good tip. <laughs> Yeah. They're not. And then there's a room service charge that has nothing to do with them. Right. So that's for the hotel. You think they pay those fucking Mexicans nah, anything? They fucking give them... I always go, no tip way. a clue. They go, yeah, right there, sir. And then, you, then you're like, fuck. Damn. I, I feel right. guilty. Right. I gotta fucking go get more money now. Right. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Seriously. Like, because you go, he's there. Right. You're looking yeah. at some Filipino kid, and you're like, <laughs> right. He just pushed, you're in your shorts with no shirt. He's pretending not to be horrified. And he, he just pushes in. He's he, praying you're not going to make a move on him. Yeah. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's unfolding that, that silly table. And, uh,. You know, I don't like when they do anything. I okay. wheel the fucking Thank thing you, in Anthony. and get the fuck out. I'm, I'm going to give you money no matter what. Yeah. You, half the time, it's more of a hassle. It's like, just fucking put it right there. We'll figure it all out. Identify the food for me. Because <laughs> this, this is your burger. <laughs> that you want it. Here's your soup. Get your fucking right. finger. Get your finger out of my yeah. iron <laughs> top hole. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you fucking put it in my mashed potatoes, you cocksucker. Don't put your finger in my hole on my iron top. You yes. You just picked your fucking dirty I nose. I hate that. And you're standing awkwardly as they're doing this whole presentation. Yeah. Like, this is not good just for me. Leave. Would I you just like? Want would you leave? Would you like me to? No. No. I would like nothing. No. But you can, and I say, just throw it on the bed. You can't say. You can't yeah. say. Just put it here. I have. Oh yeah. I have. Oh yeah. We do that. Put it here. I've we been do like, that. Would you like me to? Uh, pull now, are the, you a, no, no. now are you guys? Yeah. Throw everything in the hallway, guys. Or are you leave it in your room and let somebody get it? Leave it in the Fuck fucking that. room. Unless I'm gonna be there a few days, I will leave that fucking thing in there to rot.
I don't care. I may get out of here. Oh, I push yeah. that thing out really? like it's the TV from Poltergeist <laughs> with unfinished French fries on the floor. <laughs> Just get that shit out of here. Just I'm amazed. Creepy. Yeah. Well, I don't like it in there. You don't like it in there? No. <laughs> when I'm somewhere for two or three days, I'm amazed care. how they know how to clean my room. Because we're like a tornado. Just a fucking disaster. I, I, and I'm like, how are they figuring out what's not junk and what's not? It's I, It amazes me they know how to do that yeah. shit. No matter how long I stay at a hotel, mm. I do not get room service. I just do not. Oh, you mean like maid service? Maid service. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. They, I rarely And they hunt do. you down. Yeah, I get yeah. a message. There's yep. a sting. There's a, they hunt. And I, Would you like you us know, to uh, clean that? Nah. My, my biggest pet peeve, if we're really doing this bit, are we really doing this bit? Yeah, we've been you there. You travel to, a, I, you know, with all the traveling you do, Patrice, you travel to a, a, a city, you're tired from traveling, all you want to do is get to your room, maybe fucking put your head down, and what do they do? Half hour after you're in the room, which is prime where you should be out cold, they yeah. have to fucking call? What is that about? What, and say welcome? Or no, is or everything anything? okay, is sir? Everything okay? Is it, well, yes. Yeah. I would have called you if there was a problem. It exactly. And if it's it always when you're okay. falling the fuck asleep because you're exhausted, just want to get a nap in or whatever. I've had him come to the door like I forgot to put the do not disturb because I like ran to the bathroom to take a dump or something. And then they knock on the door and, come, and can then come walking in. He's just um, like, ah, but I'm on the shitter. Is that what you tell him? Thanks. Yeah. You're a hard on him. guy, aren't you? Yeah. Oops, I didn't mean As I'm jacking on the <laughs> right, bed. Right. You, ever, <laughs> you ever rape a black maid? Nah, never, never, uh, never tried. <laughs> I, they run out. <laughs> you never been an 84 year old man who runs around raping 22 year old <laughs> fucking physical specimens? <laughs> Although I do have this, and sticks guilt. his old cock up in her he in her ass <laughs> as she's fighting an eighty-seven year old man, and then he tries to pay off the village, and they say no. I would sacrifice my fucking aunt for that. You yeah. saw that, right? Yeah. We went to the I, little village, and I followed that all the way up until he finally said it's a setup. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, always a setup. But what? I I I'd like to. I would rescue her right at the thing because I would like to say, okay, we're going to play a game called try to rape like an 80 year old man, try to rape a young. Did you see that girl? A young, virile, 20 something year old woman. I just want to see if it can happen. I, I promise you, I'll, I'll come in and save you right at DEF CON. Right when it's 11. ready to go down. But I just want to see if it can happen. You think it's yeah. set up? Dude, the, I am the fucking IMF guy. Out of nowhere, he just, he just, they wanted him out, and he just fucking, he, he, he just, and it wasn't even, it was immediate rape, yeah, like a fled. rape that, that's just shock, like he just, an old man in a towel, and then the rape is on. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. just, that, that sounds strange. Yeah. Strange. Uh -huh. Motherfucker, until this very moment, I didn't even think this way. Like, God damn, you're right. I mean, it's just, well, you know I'm my situation. I'm not a big, just, I, I, I'm not a big conspiracy know. guy in general, but God, you, you, you know what? Why didn't I, like, think out of the box mm. on this one a little bit? He, it, like, it just is weird. We don't He's know, a obviously. He's in a $3,000 of night thing. She comes in, and he just goes rapey. <laughs> I'm going to bum, I'm bum rushing this rapey. bitch. I'm kidnapping her. He's a little cheese ball. Yeah. He's a little old dude, like like Mr. Woodman from Welcome Back, Carter, <laughs> and some fucking yeah. African girl from a village who who's working in a three thousand a night and just. What do you think went on? You think they like there might have been an understanding, and then I I and then think she that said, well, this understanding could turn into my favor. I here. think you're dealing with the uh, the, the the movie uh, Devil's Advocate type shit. Mm. That building, it's right, like yeah, yeah. I think these guys. That's the you get. It's like yes. Yeah, so, um. So what's your what qualifications? Well, I worked in mini hotels. Okay, this one, we need you, uh, and you'll be paid handsomely. You'll get a thousand dollars each time you're raped, but uh, <laughs> it gets rapey up in this bitch. <laughs> so do you want the job? You just got hit raped. It's a little rapey up here. Rapey, yeah, a little so rape. You, you walk, you walk in, and the little old men expect. To get their dick sucked by third world women that probably were kidnapped or something, and this time he goes in, he goes, he she he does oh here's my rape victim today, and goes to try to do his thing, she goes, <laughs> he goes holy shit, it's a setup. He gets yeah. tries to get the fuck out of there. He did. Cause he's involved in all that creepy shit. He's a he's a head of IMF. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know. These old men do any. It. He's the guy. You might have just turned me on the He's the guy thing. who decides how much money. He runs money. Yeah, I get it. I, I know throughout all that. the planet Earth. And they wanted him out. <laughs> this this raggedy. Look at that girl. Yeah. But who <sighs> hired her? Nobody hired her. No, people just said, you know, it, this. If somebody ever does something, they just they don't they don't tell you exactly, because they they can't afford her to go. Someone tell me to just to scream. No, they probably she might not have been on, in on it. She works. See, there's the wait, top. Wait, wait, wait. All right, all right, let's slow down. There's so the top floor. They hired her to be uh, the rapey rape, but she doesn't know that. She might not. So know. So now she's like. She's not willing to be that person, but th this guy now goes to these hotels knowing they hire the rapey the rape person. Stays on the top floor. Right. She probably works actually where right. regular people stay, so they where you don't rape. So they kind of set her up, too. Like, uh, we're putting you in this nice position as far as what she's yeah, thinking. Yeah, set her up to go but, there. And, yeah. But the other side of this is, you know, this guy assuming she's just yeah, the next rapey rape. Yeah, she's the rape girl. Yeah, she's the rape girl. She's the She's the offering. 3,000 a night of penthouse apartments and shit, and she just walks in, Damn it, and dude. this motherfucker just starts trying to rape like that's what he's supposed to do. Yeah. Man, you got And some. he just panics. He don't go, he don't go, um, what are you fucking, bitch, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, 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 and a guy who's entitled like that, that knows the deal, right. he waits for the guys to get there to go, what's going on with this bitch? Fred, you know the deal. Yeah, we why is she get rapey? So, Fred never came around this time. He that no he, he obviously thought he, it was completely acceptable what he was doing. Yes. That's obvious to me. Yes. It's part of the deal, just like room service, right? In that hotel. Yep. He uh he thought it couldn't happen in him. Yeah. You just turned me on that. <laughs> Look at that girl. What that old rotten man that old rotten man is taking that pussy right she there? She would fucking fuck up his world. She punched that motherfucker in the balls and laugh yeah. at him. <laughs> yeah, look at her. What is Bob Kelly doing here? Hey, Bobby. What is Bobby doing here? He's probably got a show to do. Yeah, he's just, he just gave us a look show. like, fuck you, I'm doing yeah, another yeah, show. He's making his own way in the world. What was that shit? Fuck you guys. He's making his own what way. What the fuck was that Bob's, about? Bob's making his own way. He was very proud he to really, walk by and let you guys know he's not coming in here. He he's gave not, us like a little peace sign. He's like, like hey. I'm not waiting for your fucking call. There peace you out. go. Fuck you. Fuck Bob Kelly. Hey, one more thing before we get out of here for today. The Dalai Lama thing. It might be more of a visual, but... Have you heard the Dalai Lama thing with this fucking asshole trying to do a joke to the Dalai Lama? Was he English no, or Australian? No, it's I think he's Australian, yeah. I wanted to hate this asshole, but I fucking love this yeah. guy because he acknowledged that it could be one of the biggest bombs ever. Uh, where's Sam? Because you need the visual. I mean, we'll play the Sam. audio for everybody else, but. Uh, Sam went to go chase down Bob Kelly. Yeah, can someone else come running in here? Yeah, e rock I don't need you in there if you can do I was, this over uh, here. I, I just want to say one more thing about the hotel Travis. room thing. Uh, yeah. I've always felt like Thanks, this Travis. weird guilt thing when I'm in the hallway uh, alone and some woman, either a maid is alone and another woman, and she's going to the door. I'll always step back and and slow down my walk or something and give her the opportunity to get in and shut the door before I would be before you in, are the in push your rapeable, way in guy. Yep. Like like yeah. But they all have uh, all the all the hotels have cameras now. Yeah, yeah, but you still, know. you know, you, great. You, you, you get think a camera me coming out, but, but, but you know. No, I, I think and it's more not so I get framed for anything. I just I, I just don't want them to feel uncomfortable, like that I'm uh, the guy. Let's be honest. I don't want to get you the don't want to get framed. No, Fuck no. their uncomfortableness. I, honestly, that's the difference between white and black, right there. I don't want to. I don't want to get the look like I'm a fucking rapist look from the girl. Like, oh fuck, I better not open this door. Although I think it's perfectly a great thing for her to do. Not open the fucking door. Like any girl that opens a door alone, where a guy is in the hallway like that, y you're dumb. Trust your instincts. Don't open the door. Wait for him to go somewhere. But as a white guy, I'm thinking of, you know, oh, the feelings. Let me, let me make sure. Let me make You're sure just that thinking, she don't feel I don't want this bitch to say I pushed the fucking door open. That's what my mind her. is. <laughs> I hate feeling like you can't be in your own room. Yeah. When they're cleaning it. I'll say, like, I got to wait outside my own fucking room because the maid's in there. Yeah. Right well, you better not go in there. Sam, what did you find out about uh, Robert Kelly? He's doing uh, Tom Papa's interview deal. Why did he give us the fuck you look? Though? That's what he said. I said hi. He was Tom Papa's what? Nah, 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 nah. He's doing an interview show, Tom Papa. Like, he interviews comedians. He did Seinfeld. Uh -huh. He did 
Well, he also did Rob Zombie. When is Zombie, he going to do so Patrice O'Neill? That's dude, what Patrice is saying right what, there. Dude, you know what, dude? I've done enough. <laughs> I've done enough. Well, <laughs> fucking what some in, another in-depth dis discussion with Patrice O'Neill and his viewpoints. <laughs> ah, shut up, Tom. But why was he walking <laughs> like ref you? marriages, asshole? I Tom get, Papa. I guess, I guess that's how... It, Guests walk when they're not doing our show. Well, he, he these guys acted, slump down the hall because they know they're doing our show. You see the confidence as he was walking by. Well, it was because oh, yeah. it's because uh, you know what? It was really good to see Bobby go. Hey guys, got to do something else. He acknowledged your existence. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> no, all right. He, he wanted us to to notice that Later he had for other you guys because you know, he knows everybody. All the regulars got to you know. He was acting like we got the demotion. Yeah. So <laughs> he just wants to let everybody know. He was acting like a chick. He really was. That was a chick move. Yeah. Yeah, but Look what I'm doing? Can you fucking? He, he's a he's a We're guy. Just making jokes he's a guy dreams. who comes here it. three times a week. <laughs> now he wants to just let you know life moves on. I have other shit. Yeah. I have other shit, motherfucker. Yeah, shit in you the pipe. Know, man. All right, listen. He, he wasn't shit even. In the pipe. He wasn't even in a rush because he spent five minutes taking a picture with the mob wives. Exactly. The oh God. So why the fuck didn't he come in and say hi? Because as soon as he passed your window. He slumped over again. <laughs> he probably did. <laughs> he didn't even. Let me tell you something. I he didn't have to come this way. No, he could have avoided us. He could have went the he other way. He wanted us to see. Oh, to see he did. He wanted us yeah. to see him with dude, other people around here. I'm here, yeah, right. dude. I'm doing an interview show. <laughs> no, I'm not, for, I'm not here for ONA. Let yeah, yeah. <laughs> this I other got guys, my own shit going on. There's other guys that do our show regularly. They're in this building. We never knew it. Yeah. And then they go, oh, yeah, I was, I was there. But I had something oh, oh, going cool. on. Yeah, the other side. Popped in. <laughs> right. Yeah. Here's uh, the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza <laughs> shop. This is everywhere, man. Yeah. Uh, ah, let's just play it, and then we'll talk about it in a few minutes. Now, as you know, I did share a gag with Dalai Lama because he was in such fine form. I decided that I would tell this gag. Now, it did prove to be not my most successful Please. ever. Check it out. So the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop. Pizza shop. Pizza. pizza? He's telling you to the Dalai Lama. Yeah, pizza. Pizza shop. Didn't know what a pizza and shop says, was. And says, can you make me one with everything? Hmm. What's that? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. You know. pause. Do you know what I mean? Pause. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? When I heard about this, I wanted to like, call this guy out for being the biggest asshole, but I fucking love this That's guy. That's hilarious. And it's a, it's a great joke. Did you make me it's one with hilarious. everything? hilarious. <laughs> and, and the Dalai Lama's like, <laughs> what? 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 Huh? what? 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 He didn't uh, even know what a pizza, pizza shop was. Pizza shop? Yeah, back it up to the punchline. God damn. Yeah, absolutely. And he's trying to explain it to the Dalai Lama. Yeah. Hmm. What's that? <laughs> That's what it. Oh, yes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Can you make me one oh. with everything? Oh, theoretically <laughs> possible. Oh. Oh, I knew that wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that, this, this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. That's yeah. hilarious. It takes balls to do this to the Dalai Lama. The Dalai, Dalai Lama Lama was an, an ass. <laughs> right. Like, yes. all your sp is funny in your, in your religion? There's no funny. No, nope. no funny in Jesus, the Dalai Lama's Captain life. Serious? There's he, no funny in everything, I guess. No, right? I guess he's above the funny? actual fact that he's a joke. <laughs> yeah, like, that it, he, he's part he of a is, joke. Hey, it's like you go two Jews walking a bar, and it's two Jews, and they're going. I don't. Wait a minute. What's going on here? They were on their way into a bar he, at the time. Oh. Yeah. I don't like the fact that he had to be explained what a pizza shop is. Well, he's the, the Dalai, Dalai Lama. Yeah, because Dalai Lama doesn't know what a pizza shop he is. Eats, Get the fuck he out of eats here. cloud meat. <laughs> <laughs> we saw him in an elevator once in Atlanta. We bring it up every fucking time. Yeah. This guy knows should know what a pizza shop is. An elevator. He's all all over the place. All of a sudden, we found ourselves in an elevator with the Dalai Lama. Oh, you had to take a picture. That? No, no. Norton, even, Norton would have taken I didn't think picture. you could should, I, were even supposed to look him in the eye or something. We looked him in the eye. I said didn't even hi. know you were supposed to do that. Did you turn into stone? You weren't. You're not supposed to be on a level like higher than him or He's something. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, we were in the in an elevator. I think I would go, Dolly. Hey, what's your deal? But why yeah, would they let us? Doing? Why would they let us assholes in with the Dalai Lama? What's your deal? Why were we allowed in that elevator that day? I don't know. It's no not one's like trying to kill Chinese. The Dolly. No, the Chinese don't really like him. He's been around a long time. He like he he's retiring. I the, think the Beatles like were into him when, yeah, yeah, in, in they, the sixties. He's this guy is ageless. Yeah, but how do you retire really if that's your gig? You can't retire from that. You can, you can retire from he's, helping he's not people allowed to retire. Be religious. 
All right, uh, continue. <laughs> he laughed more at the fact that it didn't work. You didn't know what pizza was. <laughs> you know what's going to fall down there, isn't it? You know that a joke's in trouble if you've got a translator off to the side. You didn't Every know what pizza words. was. Anyway, I've got better having spoken to him. And, spoken. And I think everyone who talks to him does. Oh. I'm so surprised he ain't fired, though. Uh, yeah. Well, it's Australia. You should have said the lot. One with the lot. One with the no. lot. Oh, the lot. Yeah. Maybe it was a hand. No. You know what? It does. It's not the joke. You fucking. It's <laughs> it's refreshing that they're showing some uh, you know real feelings about the whole thing. If this happened in, on America TV, they yeah, would that's all be in, like, that's Australian. They do yeah. blackface still right, in right. Australia. Yeah. They have no political correctness. They went with on that. It was a real moment. Can I get one? Uh, the Dalai Lama walks to the pizza shop and says, "Can I get one with everything? One with everything. Can you make me one with everything? <laughs> can that's make it. me one with can everything. Can you make but me one with everything? I think, I think everything. his his humor doesn't get. <laughs> Mocking right, his right. fucking actual... The fact that making you one with everything... <laughs> he goes, I don't get it. He didn't get it. He doesn't understand irony or... No, <laughs> right. no. Like, it just doesn't no. exist to him. <laughs> I, irony is Hilarious. dumb to the Dalai Lama. <laughs> right. It's just a stupid theory. He's, he doesn't know... I wonder what makes him laugh. Probably just really v visual things, like like just a the monkey clapping. I bet you a monkey clap. I bet you he rolls at the three stooges. Three stooges, yeah. Fucking Mo hitting Larry on the head with a ball peen hammer. He loves kitten stuff on the internet. Before I think kittens, yeah. Can I say that the, the? I just have to say that the three, the greatest three stooges bit of all time, please, is Shemp has the <laughs> Shemp has the the fish bowl on his head, and he's going, he's going. Oh, man, and Mo goes, hey, Larry, what do you say? Larry goes, I'm on the bobo. And, and Mo slaps the shit out of him. I'm on the What do you say? I'm on the bobo. Wow. Funniest, funniest three students bit of all time. I was, of all time. I was petrified of Mo as a kid. Mo was an like, asshole. Mo, Mo was oh, like so asshole. violent and right. scary to me. Oh, like Larry you, was funny. Why would you hang out with Mo me? after a while? Mo just what a fucking beat asshole. the piss out of everybody. It was the dumbest thing. Right. Like Mo would get hit accidentally with shit. Like all the the other guys would hit him accidentally, and then Mo would lose his shit and intentionally punch him. But you never saw like Larry intentionally hit Mo. Like, hey, you're an asshole. I'm gonna fucking punch you or do the eyeball thing. They are. They have the most interesting story of all times, dude. <laughs> oh, the real just story the, behind them? the real story. The Three Stooges. Yeah. Just misery. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking misery. Yeah. Hey guys, man, I appreciate you having uh, me Patrice, on. I gotta go too. And uh, hey, we're all going. Yeah. yeah, I'll see you probably you in October. What? No, you got to be as soon What's as that. What's today? Was July? Oh man, Patrice, Fuck is, you. Patrice is giving oh, us some fuck, shit. Man. I'm giving you shit. At least, I'm, at least I'm not walking happily by the window. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely right. I'm fucking with you. You ain't been here in you know a what? while. You're invited back anytime. If you oh, the open invite. <laughs> you got the open invite. I'm fucking. <laughs> Look, he's right. Take he's one looking, of these TVs. He's looking to throw something. He's looking around for something he can throw. I, I always hated that one. Yeah, no, you got an open, open invite. invite. What does that mean? No one ever Means, calls uh, you out on the open invite. It allows you to pop in. Like Ant says that. Hey, you're you're welcome anytime. <laughs> I, that's why I can't go to Ant's house when he has these things. Yeah, because he's like, come anytime. It's like, Anthony didn't tell me to come to his house. Hey, Ant, you, you, you come on by. I know he'll let me in, but... <laughs> no, I always do this. When, when I'm having a party, I always tweet. I tweet like anyone... Uh, who's ever been to a party at my house or knows that they would be invited that you know I have invited uh, I'm having a party and that means everybody that's been invited now, that makes sense but you had to get to that point where people I don't send out invites but in, you had to get to that point where people were at your house for parties yeah, Patrice knows he's, he's a, if he gets the tweet fucking bat signal then I'm having a party I don't know it, like I, 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 I any, have you any party on, tw on Twitter I follow you I know Ope's thing is Videos and um, information. Mm -hmm. your, information. Your thing is an argument. <laughs> yes, I'm and constantly then, arguing and guns. What's your thing then? <laughs> I, my thing is I, 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 I got into this a real good tweet groove where I only tweet when I feel like it. Yeah. I don't want to over tweet or under tweet, but when I really think I, 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 f I feel compelled to tweet mm -hmm. and then i'll try to be funny i'll and i'll try to say this is fucked up you know with, with the schwarzenegger thing i had a good 
good bunch of tweets and get people arguing and shit and yeah. talking about fucking side bitches. And then the, the, the NBA finals. But right now, I wouldn't tweet about like Tracy Morgan because yeah. you can't, you can't do a, a, a two, two of 140 character I know, explanation yep. of some of those things. And you, you just go, yeah, you got, you can't be frivolous with you ever start tw a tweet and you're like, I, yeah, I just I, can't fit. No, it's yeah, I cancel. No, it's, can't, can't fit it. No, what Twitter needs some some type of technology where you're allowed <laughs> a thousand characters five times a month. You know what I mean? Because if you if you if you expand the characters, it's going to blow up Twitter. It's going to yeah, suck. It's, but but, but just, to allow each person that has an account. Like a few with times where the, they could go all out. But with all the accounts, I don't you would constantly be scrolling through giant yeah. every day. I don't click. I don't click on t that twit longer and all that. Yeah. Fuck that, man. If, if I don't if see it in front ain't of me, there, it ain't that. I, I don't yeah. click. Yep. Yep. I don't go for two clicks ever, unless it's a video, obviously. Video, but, photo, but when you know like it's that. not a video, and it's a continuation yeah. of a tweet. Rarely. No. That's where they lose me. My girl hates my tweets because I, I tweet. And I, that's what I'm saying though. Down to like eight characters left and then i put dot 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 until it's one <laughs> and, and you can't retweet that yeah you can't retweet, you can't retweet it but because that's the problem too you want people to retweet your shit so you got to leave some extra characters for them so they can retweet it so they they don't go into the twit longer bullshit and these motherfuckers they got these motherfuckers who are like have like a newspaper thing that it's like I did that for a while. The Dude Gazette. Oh, right, yeah. And it's set up like <laughs> Dude a... Dude Gazette. And I, I thought it was real for like a half a second. Yeah, yeah. all it is is your... Uh, yeah, it's all, all it is is your page tweets. just organized differently. Oh, I, I, I didn't was, know that. I was doing that for a while. It's kind of... It was kind of cool, but... I had a CNN... I, I had a blurb in the CNN uh, uh, Tracy Morgan oh, thing, by the way. Yeah. Uh, by uh, the guy's name. He's a black guy, but he's he's, he's like the only black oh, guy. Oh, the black CNN. Rolling. Roland Martin. He had, he had a great take on that. We were talking about that yesterday. He, I, I was I, in a big His Imus thing, it, it bothers me a little bit, but he explained himself, saying he, that he, Imus wasn't considered uh, a shock jock type personality when he did what he did. He had a lot of powerful people on his show. That's why that wasn't accepted by a lot of people. I, I would still argue that point with him, but the rest of it I thought was really he right had, on. He had a big, long thing about Tracy. Yeah. Big, long thing. But he had he had all these names, but then he, he actually quoted something, something from... From the elephant in the room. Yes, he did. Which was uh, the, the the raw fucking raw right, thing. Right. Which is, but you could have picked something better than that. But he was. You were right in the middle of that article. But it's hilarious because he's saying, "Well, why ain't nobody getting fucking with me?" You know what I mean? But it's like because I'm making a point that you yeah. can argue. Yeah. You're not, you can't just go. I'm a fucking. Right. He's promoting AIDS. Right. <laughs> and then if if they did, I probably would go. Yeah. Why not? Magic is okay. <laughs> Magic's fine with it. I'll take his AIDS. All he's getting now is like a little bit of bad skin, but no lesions. He got he's the, looking pretty good. He got the good AIDS. He got the AIDS that makes him a good businessman. Yeah. <laughs> Get a good job. I'm surprised my fucking... <laughs> fucking the tree. They don't freak... Magic made people unscared of AIDS. Yeah, he yeah. really did. It's you're, like, not oh, gonna, you're not even going to lose weight. Got a shot. And normal publications are, are showing or are, are letting us... Saying that uh, AIDS is is a cure, yeah. The, the Economist got something, like actual plea. Yeah, they're saying that. Do you theory, believe that yeah. shit that they're holding that back for a while? I, if what, if they were, if the, they uh, were, that's one of the conspiracies that they already have a cure, but they're just kind of holding it. But back AIDS for is whatever not reason. AIDS is not a thing. It's like why would you cure AIDS if you really wasn't trying to? Because it's one of those diseases where you can live long and have it. So they love diseases like that. They don't yeah, like yeah. they don't like Ebola. It costs money to fucking <laughs> keep taking those drugs after, for 20, 30 yeah. fucking years. So that's like it's like e Ebola yeah. is like like the common cold is a fantastic thing to have. Oh, where you just you're sick and then you got to buy a dumb doctor's visit even though you don't have to. You got to buy fantastic. a fuckload of medicine over the counter shit. But that's how much yeah. fucking you think is going to happen if they actually Cure AIDS. Yeah, or, all the or get a vaccine. That's, bath houses come back. That's uh, a lot of ass fucking. That's where I'm in with the conspiracy shit. By the way, what you just said. That's when I start getting suspicious. You know, you're, you're in. Why don't you just? <laughs> I'm, I, why don't you go full in? I don't know. I think you, you are. are in. Yeah, I think you're I'm in. I'm in. You fucking believe in in these things? Nah, the between, 9 between, shit, between... I, I, I can't buy into. But that's okay. Um, the 9 11 shit, I could easily. I I, I I wonder what the government knew as far as the planning and what they did to. Uh, you can't embrace to... the idea of motherfuckers actually 
flying planes in the bit like we I, did it and all that shit. But. No, not at all. But I, I, no way. I, 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 I get suspicious. What, what did, did the it. government know, and what did they allow to happen right. for whatever reason? That's, that's all. That's all conspiracy the, theories are. Is you hear? But as far as no, man. as far as what. We doing it to ourselves yeah, yeah, in, in the, in the well, way some of these can, guys say? No way. Just listen. Just no for way. a second, though. Here's the thing. If you go to the Lusitania, you go to um, uh, Pearl Harbor, you go to the Gulf of Tonkin, you, you did. The, we need reasons sometimes to get into these wars. Yeah. And we didn't have we didn't no. get into the wars until Patricia explain basic shit to me. But, I get but I get I'm that. Saying what I'm saying is we said as the government, uh, we're going to get out of your way and let you do what we know you're going to do. Because right. now we can do what we want. Yes. Do. That's you don't I'm believe saying. that. I do believe that. I do believe that's a possibility. OK, yes. so then the thing you don't believe is what? That we actually, you know, uh, did it to ourselves. Orchestrated the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that we Al Qaeda oh, wanted okay. to do this. We knew they were going to do this, and we went, "Holy oh, shit!" Oh yeah, that's the theory. If, we, yeah. if we allow them that. to do this, now we get to do what we want to do. I right. I believe that. that. That's, that's where that's I'm. Possibility. At. That's possibility. Yes. And I'm not saying so that you're, you're a conspiracy theorist, guy. No, I'm suspicious of that because I don't even know if that's the case. Stop here. saying suspicious. No, if I don't know if that. I don't know if that's the case here. But I'm I'm willing to open my mind to say that is a possibility. Is that fair? enough i don't know really i don't buy it i don't know i'm gonna think about it i'm gonna tell you when i'm back in november i believe we could step you know, <laughs> no but i, I <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden when obi gets serious he gets serious oh, no because no, no, no. <laughs> no, i was just thinking about the point that's all i didn't hear that well um if you like to discuss those things i'm i'm open all right, Pachiki. Not hey, a Mama Prods. Yeah, not not a ten seventeen. Oh yeah, because we're going into your show, right? <laughs> yeah, we're cutting into the shit hour. What does he talk about? It's if about wanna, what we talked if about. You want to hang with him? With Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I like Sam, but only when other people are around. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah, I Everybody can't just hang Sam. with Sam. Sure. All right, go to, go, right, go, go find right. something else. We'll shit, see you guys shit, tomorrow. Shit hour. Yeah, yeah. See you guys.